Captain Cook.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to World Dairy Expo. Today is Friday, October 4th. At this time, please rise to honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Welcome to the 53rd World Dairy Expo, home to your tools for dairy's progress. We are looking forward to sharing memories on the colored shavings and education in the trade show all week long with you here in Madison, as well as with our friends tuning in on Expo TV around the globe. As you interact with fellow dairy producers, engage with leading industry experts, and meet the future of dairy, we hope your passion for the industry we love and the community we create is reinvigorated and revitalized. Welcome again and enjoy your expo experience. Hi, I'm Abigail Martin, Wisconsin's 72nd Alice in Dairyland, and I'm pleased to welcome you to World Dairy Expo 2019. This week we will share, sharpen, and collect the tools needed for dairy's progress as industry experts and dairy enthusiasts from across the state and around the globe come together for this special event. This week, Wisconsin is not only America's dairy land, but the globe's as we host World Dairy Expo. We welcome you, dairy producers and industry experts, to our great state. And we look forward to sharing our tradition of award-winning cheeses, beautiful cows, and new and innovative dairy products. Enjoy your stay on Wisconsin. Welcome to World Dairy Expo and Wisconsin. For the 53rd year, America's Dairyland is honored to serve as the meeting place for the global dairy industry as dairy producers and experts gather to stay connected and informed about the ever-changing worldwide dairy industry. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to our state and to share with you the energy and excitement of an industry near and dear to all of us in Wisconsin. It's now time to collect your tools for dairy's progress. So sit back and enjoy the show as farmers, agribusinesses, and researchers showcase their innovative technology and world-class dairy cattle. And don't forget to tune in again on Saturday afternoon as the lights are dimmed here in the Coliseum for the selection of the World Dairy Expo's Supreme Champion. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the International Red and White Show. I'm Kathleen O'Keefe with Cosmopolitan, and along with my fabulous assistant, Karen Wheatley of Premier Select Sires, we'll be bringing you day two of the Red and White Show, which is our milking classes, group classes, and ultimately the selection of grand champion of this year's show. Down the ring is our milk and yearling class, the first place award is presented by Steincrest Holsteins of Norwood, Minnesota. Best Daughter Rosette for this and all the milking classes are presented by the Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin. And the Junior Award is presented by Karakash Holsteins, Ryan and Karen Griffin of Thief River Falls. We want to be sure to acknowledge the very generous sponsorship of Jetstream Genetics who sponsored the neck ribbons and medallions for the International Red and White Show. 
and also Accelerate Genetics, who sponsored all the junior neck ribbons and medallions. Hi again, folks, and welcome back to the 2019 International Guernsey Show. My name is Robert DeBrew with the state of Wisconsin. I'm here with my co-pilot, Brittany Gevlinger from Guida Plus, and we're here to bring you the rest of today's show. Hope you enjoy it. Now in the ring for the Guernsey Show, the Guernsey Yearling Heifers in Milk, our first place awards presented by Feedworks USA Limited, Cincinnati, Ohio, the best udder rosettes presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin, and the Junior Award is presented by Brian and Heidi Schneebly, Hagerstown, Maryland.
over in the International Red and White Show Ring. Judge Black has completed his placings in our Melkin Yearling class, our first class this morning. We'd like to acknowledge the juniors in the class. Second junior, and also winning the Junior Bread and Owned Award is entry 2439, Holbrook Ammo A Canadian Red, exhibited by Megan Ford and Adam Olbrich of Harvard, Illinois. Winning junior in the class is entry 2443, Apple Partners Abriana Red, exhibited by Connor Erbson and Nevin Erbson of Lanark, Illinois. Placing third in the class, Century 2440, Heather Stone, Regal Red, exhibited by K Manor Holsteins, Muscaday, Wisconsin. Placing second in class and also winning the Bread and Owned Award is entry 2435, Blondin Avalanche Darlene, exhibited by Fair and Blondin, Blondin Sires of Saint Placy, Quebec. Winning the class and also named Best Daughter is entry 2437. Brookview Deaf Curly Q Red, exhibited by Glamour View, Jaeger and Walton of Walkersville, Maryland. Congratulations. Judge Black, your comments. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and this is a tremendous way to start our show here this morning. Uh, not a big class, but beautiful cows from top to bottom. And a pair of heifers that uh, different kind of heifers, but sort themselves to the top of the class for us fairly handily. But our heifer in first, just a cleaner cut heifer. She's cleaner, more feminine all the way through, especially up through her head and neck. When we get behind her, she's got more height width to that rear rudder. Just a heifer that definitely has the best mammary system in the class today. Second over third, a heifer that's just a little cleaner all the way through. She's fresh a little bit longer and a little more ready today, but she is crisper all the way through, more feminine, clean, right through all, all through her whole frame than this beautiful, balanced, fresh heifer here in third. The third place heifer over the heifer and fourth, a heifer that has more depth to her rib, more overall heifer. And I just prefer the way she tracks out a little nicer in those feet and legs today than our beautiful dairy heifer here in fourth. The fourth place heifer over the heifer in fifth, a heifer that has an advantage in that her udder texture today. She's got more width to that rear udder and showing us a little more definition to her median suspensory today. But a beautiful class of milk and yearlings. Thank you. And folks, turning your attention to the Guernsey Show, Judges Johnson and Lance have made their selections for the yearling heifers in milk. I'd like to ask our junior exhibitors to take a step forward to be recognized at this time. Our second place junior finisher is 1668 Naps Api Too Pretty, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. That entry also won our junior bread and owned award. Our third place finisher, Number 1672, Knapp's Copper Triple Crown, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Our second place finisher and also winner of the Bread and Owned Award, Prairie Moon Tea Gun La Rosa's, Leslie Sieveson, Walk on Iowa. And our first place finisher, also winner of the Best Utter Award and First Junior, Thurston Farms Primetime Trixie, Katie T. Livingston, West Winfield, New York. Congratulations. Judge Seth, tell us more about this first class of Friday. Well, this is just an awesome way to start the uh, cow show this morning. This is a fantastic class of milking yearlings. I moved myself over here to give reasons so I could look at these rear udders for a little longer. There's great udders up and down the line. I think this class has finally gotten to where we want it to. And uh, this heifer that starts the class is just lights out for us. She came in the ring. John and I looked at her and said, if, the, if that heifer's got a rear udder, she's going to be easy. And she did. And she was. Tall, she's long, she's open, and she's got a fantastic mammary system on her. For yearling and milk, she's got that development, that high, wide rear udder attachment that we like to see. And uh, she's just the complete cow for us today to win this class. She has an obvious advantage over a heifer. It's just fresh a couple weeks here in second, uh, just being cleaner all the way through. She's already sh milked off. She's sharper over those withers. She's just carrying a little less excess flesh all the way through. 
but the utter on this second heifer makes it close. Another fantastic utter, and she uses that advantage in height and width of rear utter in particular to place over this lovely youthful heifer here in third. This second place heifer just higher and wider at the top of that rear utter today, maybe a little longer in the fore utter attachment than the third place heifer. Third place heifer, uh, a heifer uh, that could win this class any year with that utter and that youthfulness, and she uses her advantage in uh, snugness in that four utter attachment. She's a little more correct in her teat placement today than the heifer coming out here in fourth to follow. Uh, the heifer in fourth over the heifer in fifth, a uh, uh, change I made uh, after the first pull, but this heifer in fourth, just uh, when they get in line, just overwhelms this fifth place heifer for uh, in rear utter attachment. She's much wider at the top of that rear utter, shows more fullness at the top of the rear utter today. She's also flatter and cleaner in that hawk and just uh, showing a little more healthy in that hawk today than this uh, really well-attached uttered heifer that comes out in fifth. Congratulations. Fantastic class. If you're marking your catalogs with us in the International Red and White Show, there were nine milking yearlings exhibited this morning. Entry 2435 was second and won the Bread Known Award. Blondin Avalanche Darlene, exhibit I Ferrin Blondin, Blondin Sires of Saint Placis, Quebec. Entry 2436 did not show. 2437 was first in the class and also named Best Utter. Brookview Deaf Curly Q Red, exhibited by Glamour View, Jaeger and Walton of Walkersville, Maryland. Entry 2438 did not show. 2439 was ninth in the second junior. Holbrook Ammo, a Canadian Red, exhibited by Megan Ford and Adam Ulbrich of Harvard, Illinois. Entry 2440 was third. Heather Stone Regal Red, exhibited by K Manor Holsteins, Muscaday, Wisconsin. Entries 2441 and 2442 did not show. Entry 2443 was seventh in the winning junior. Apple Partners Abriana Red, exhibited by Connor Erbson and Nevin Erbson of Lanark, Illinois. Entry 2444 did not show. 2445 was fifth. Entry 2446 was sixth. 2447 did not show. Entry 2448 was fourth, 2449 was eighth, and entry 2450 did not show. Now in the ring in the International Red and White Show is our summer junior two-year-old class. The first place award is presented by Scenic Edge Holsteins of Plymouth, Wisconsin, and Scenic Edge is also presenting the junior award in this class. And at this time, we'd like to introduce the winner and the Guernsey show for the Fight Back Guernsey Gold Futurity class. Our winner and Best Daughter Award winner is an Elvadale's Magic Man Jazzy, presented by Payton and Alexis Kerstanovich of Fairfield, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Judge Seth, can you tell us about this animal, please? Well, it's too bad. There's just one entry here in the Futurity today, but a, a heifer that certainly could uh, stand her own with competition. She's a young August Junior too, a heifer with a really well-attached mammary system. You like that height and width back through that rear udder. Congratulations. Folks, and the premiums for the Fight Back Guernsey Award were presented by Fight Back Deep Valley Farm of Brooklyn, Connecticut. Now we're entering the show ring for the Guernsey Show or the junior two-year-old cows. The first place awards presented by Blue Moon Guernsey's Bill and Linda Blue of Circleville, Ohio. The Best Utter Rosette presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. The American Guernsey Cattle Club trophies presented by the American Guernsey Association. 
and the Junior Award is presented by Millbourne Farm, P. Maury Miller, Granby, Connecticut. And for those of you following the Guernsey Show in your programs, here are the results for the yearling heifers in milk for the Guernsey Show. Entry 1664 was our overall winner, first place junior and best utter award winner. Thurston Farms Primetime Trixie, KDT Livingston, West Winfield, New York. 1665 did not show. 1666 was fifth. 1667 was fourth. 1668 was seventh, second junior. And the Junior Bread and Owned Award winner, Knapp's A Pie Too Pretty, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. 1669 was eighth. 1670 finished second and won the Bread and Owned Award, Prairie Moon Tea Gun La Roses, Leslie Sievison, Walk On, Iowa. 1671 did not show. 1672 was third, Knapp's Copper Triple Crown, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. 1673 was sixth, and 1674 did not show.
in the International Red and White Show. Judge Black has completed his placings in our summer junior two-year-old class. We'd like to recognize the juniors in the class. Second junior is entry 2455. Hosley D. D Back Chloe Red, exhibited by Taylor Fester of Grove City, Minnesota. First junior in the class and also winning the Junior Red Known Award is entry 2461, Crescent Mead Allegra Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class is entry 2463, Go Big Diamond Just Cause Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Placing second in the class is entry 2458, Cherry Lore Diamondback Robin Red, exhibited by Kale Hambury of Milmont, Pennsylvania. In winning the class, and also named Best Daughter in winning the Bread Known Award, is entry 2462, Flower Brook Diamond Red, exhibited by Andrew Stewie of Hamburg, Minnesota. Congratulations. Jamie, your comments on the class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, maybe a little more difficult class to line up for us. Uh, maybe not a bunch of heifers that are all the same kind, but for us, a heifer winning the class is so free of fault. A heifer that has more width all the way through. She's carrying the best mammary system in the class today, and we prefer that mammary system. She's leveler on the floor of her udder, showing us a little more crease, and just prefer the way they're set to her rear leg today over this heifer here coming out in second. Second place heifer over the heifer in third, a little closer placing, but we give the advantage in our second place heifer on her mammary system. We prefer the size of her shape to her teat today. She's a little snugger of her attachments, and when we view her from behind, she's so much wider in her pins today than this beautiful silky framed heifer here in third. The third place heifer over the heifer in fourth, a heifer that's showing us a little more quality and utter texture today. She's a little more lift to her front end and overall balance and blending of parts than this high wide rear uttered heifer here in fourth. The fourth place heifer over the heifer in fifth, the heifer, she's just a little straighter line, prefer the style to her rump. I prefer that squareness of her rear udder. She's got more height than width, at the t especially at the top, than a really silky heifer here coming out in fifth. Thank you. If you're marking your catalogs along with us in the International Red and White Show, there were 12 summer junior two-year-olds exhibited. Entry 2451 placed 10th. 2452 was 7th. 2453 was 9th. 2454 placed 12th. Entry 2455 was 6th in the class and 2nd junior. Hosley D. Back, Chloe Red, exhibited by Taylor Fester of Grove City, Minnesota. Entry 2456 did not show. 2457 was eighth. Entry 2458 was second in the class. Cherry Lore, Diamondback, Robin Red, exhibited by Kale Hembury of Milmont, Pennsylvania. 2459 was fifth. 2460 did not show. Entry 2461 was fourth in the class and also first junior and won the Junior Bread Known Award. Crescent Mead Allegro Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Entry 2462 was our class winner. She also won the Bread Known Award and was named Best Daughter. Flower Brook Diamond Red, exhibited by Andrew Stewie of Hamburg, Minnesota. Entry 2463 was third in the class. Go Big Diamond Just Cause Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. And entry 2462 was 11th. Now entering the, sh the ring in our international red and white show is our junior two-year-old cow class. First place award is presented by Highlight Holsteins of Fox Lake, Wisconsin, and the junior award is presented by Beekman Holsteins, Jay and Jasmine Beekman of Huntington, Indiana.
Folks, at this time, we'd like to reintroduce our esteemed judges for the 2019 International Guernsey Show. Our official judge is Seth Johnson from Turnbridge, Vermont. Seth is an area sales manager with Fibro Animal Health, and he previously served as the executive secretary of the American Guernsey Association, managing sales during his 18-year tenure with the association. Seth has evaluated cattle at the Canadian National Show, the Eastern States Exposition, the All-American Show, the Ohio State Fair, along with serving as an All-American judge for the Guernsey, Milking Shorthorn, and Ayrshire breeds. Today, Seth lives in Turnbridge, Vermont, with his wife Shannon and their children, Zachary and Sylvia, where they raise a few Guernseys and Ayrshires for the kids to show. And I'd also like to introduce our associate judge, Mr. John Lance of Ellsworth, Wisconsin. John is an agronomist for Countryside Cooperative. His, head, his herd of Guernseys consisted of 50 cows with a rolling herd average of 22,000 pounds of milk with 1,000 pounds of fat and 800 pounds of protein. Along with the World Dairy Expo Intermediate Champion of the International Guernsey Show, his herd has consisted of many All-American winners and the world record holder for milk, fat, and protein production, Breezy Point P. Racer. Judge Lance has previously judged the Guernsey Show at the Ohio, Missouri, Illinois, Iowa State Fairs, as well as at the Big E. He and his wife, Jamie, reside in Ellsworth, Wisconsin, and have three grown children, Jens, Anders, and Marin. Please welcome our 2019 International Guernsey Show judges, Seth Johnson and John Lance.
and folks, we are ready to announce the results for the junior two-year-old cows for the International Guernsey Show. Our junior bred and owned award winner is number 1694, Naps HP Pie Tracy, Landed Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Our second place junior, High Gurn View Asia's Africa, Elena Dinderman, Orangeville, Illinois. Our first place junior, 1682, Cooley Crest Top Gun, Dulce E.T., Michaela Lepke, Cashton, Wisconsin. Our third place overall finisher, number 1685, Spring Hill Disco, Jerica, Spring Hill Grammar and Wetmore, Big Prairie, Ohio. Our second place finisher, 1678, Snyder's HP, GG Pie, Ashton, Prairie Cream and Valley Gem, Cumberland, Wisconsin. And our overall winner, as well as winner of Best Utter and Best Bread and Owned, Spring Hill Mentor Joyce, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge Seth, tell us more about these junior two-year-olds. Well, another fantastic class of young cows here in the Guernsey Ring. Uh, this heifer that comes to the top does so uh, on the basis of that tremendous frame and that big square rear udder that she wears today. She has the advantage over this uh, extreme youthful heifer here in second and just being more upstanding through that front end. She's just higher at the point of the shoulder. She's fuller behind the shoulder. She's got more depth and openness to that fore and rear rib today. And when you get back into that mammary system, I grant this second place heifer is a little more snug in that fore udder attachment. But when you look at that rear udder, this uh, first place heifer just eclipses the class in uh, height and width. Uh, and balance in that rear quarter, and that's what gets her there today. I also admit that second place heifer is a little nicer on the way she walks out on those pass turns today, and I just love the youthfulness of this second place heifer. She has the advantage over the third heifer and just being a, a little more bloom at the top of the rear udder. There's a little more uh, width at the top of the rear udder. She's got a little more definition of seam all the way up the, that rear udder attachment than does this uh, beautifully stylish heifer coming out. Third over fourth, uh, a heifer today is just a little more in bloom, a little more on the money right now, just a little more bloom at the top of her rear udder in her own right than this uh, really well-made, uh, youthful heifer coming out in fourth. Fourth over fifth, the heifer that's just stronger through the loin. She's harder over that top. She's a little more snug in her uh, udder attachments, both fore and rear, than this uh, beautifully ribbed heifer uh, that comes out in fifth. Fifth over six, a heifer that's just flatter and cleaner bone, just a little more cleaned off today, but you love the mammary system on this six and that gets her up to that spot. Congratulations. And here are the results for the junior two-year-old cows for the Guernsey Show. Number 1678 was second, Snyder's HP GG Pie Ashton, Prairie Cream and Valley Gym, Cumberland, Wisconsin. 1679 was our overall winner, bred and owned and best daughter winner, Spring Hill Mentor Joyce, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. 1680 was 16th, 1681 was fifth, 1682 is sixth, first junior, Cooley Crest Top Gun Dulce, Michaela Lepke, Cashton, Wisconsin. 1683 was 13th, 1684, 14th. 1685 was third, Spring Hill Disco Jerica, Spring Hill Grammar and Wetmore, Big Prairie, Ohio. 1686 was 11th and second junior, High Gurn View, Asia's Africa, Elena Dinderman, Orangeville, Illinois. 1687 was 18th, 1688 was 8th, 1689 was 7th, 1690 was 9th, 1691 12th, 1692 4th, 1693 did not show, 1694 won our Junior Bread and Owned Award, Naps H. Pie Tracy, Landed Knapp, Epworth, Iowa, 1695 and 96 did not show, 2642 was 10th, and 2643 was 15th. Now in the show ring for the International Guernsey Show, the senior two-year-old cows. First place presented by Portacheck Incorporated, Morristown, New Jersey. The production award presented by Prairie Farms Dairy, Edwardsville, Illinois. Best Otter Rosette presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. The American Guernsey Cattle Club Trophy is presented by the American Guernsey Association. And the junior award is presented by Snyder Homestead Farm, Brad and Burnett, Gable and Family, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. In the International Red and White Show Ring, Judge Black has completed his placings in our junior two-year-old cow class. We'd like to recognize the juniors in the class. Second place junior is entry 2472, Crescent Mead Rockstar Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. 
placing third in the class and also winning the Bread Owned Award, the Junior Bread Owned Award, and is the first place junior is enter 2471. Karakash RK R Jam Red, exhibited by Curtis, Evelyn, and Agnes Griffin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Second in the class is entry 2475, Ms. Hillpine Knockout Red, exhibited by TNL Cattle of Rosedale, British Columbia. And winning the class and also named Best Utter is entry 2477, Weaverlack Tickle Me Red, exhibited by Farron Blondin. A. Phillips and K. Wolf of Saint Placide, Quebec. Congratulations. Jamie, your comments on the class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep giving this class a round of applause. We got great uttered young cows all the way to the tail end of the class. With that being said, a heifer that is a handy winner for us. She's extremely balanced. She has a definite advantage in the way she handles her loin. We prefer that slope from her hips to her pins. And when we get behind her, she's square in that rear udder, showing us a little more height and a little more width and a little more crease at the top of a rear udder today than a similarly made heifer here coming out in second. The second place heifer over the heifer in third, a heifer we just prefer overall length all the way through. Prefer when it gets down to her mammary system, she's leveler in the floor of her udder today than this extremely balanced heifer here in third. The third place heifer over the heifer in fourth, a heifer showing us so much more udder texture and udder quality today, especially on the left side of her udder than this big framed heifer here in fourth. The fourth place heifer over the heifer in fifth, a heifer just so straight lined. We prefer that length from end to end. She's a little snugger of her attachments today than this high wide rear uttered cow here coming out in fifth. Thank you. If you're marking your catalogs with us in the International Red and White Show, there were 13 junior two-year-olds exhibited. Entry 2464 was fourth. 2465 did not show. 2466 was 13th. 2467 was fifth. 2468 placed 12th. 2469 was 11th. 2470 placed eighth. Entry 2471 was third in the class. The first place junior won the Bread Owned Award and the Junior Bread Owned Award, Karakash RK R Gem Red, exhibited by Curtis, Evelyn, and Agnes Griffin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Entry 2472 was seventh, and the second junior, Crescent Mead Rockstar Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Entry 2473 did not show. 2474 was sixth. Entry 2475 was second in the class, Ms. Hillpine Knockout Red, exhibited by TNL Cattle of Rosedale, British Columbia. Entry 2476 was ninth. Entry 2477 was the class winner and also named Best Utter, Weberlack Tickle Me Red, exhibited by Farron Blondin, Phillips and Wolf of Saint Placide, Quebec. And entry 2663 placed 10th. Now in the ring in the International Red and White Show is our senior two-year-old cow class. The first place award is presented by the Wisconsin Red and White Dairy Cattle Association. Production award is presented by Prairie Farms Dairy of Edwardsville, Illinois. Best Utter Rosette by the Cattle Connection. And the junior award is presented by Appleview Dairy Services of Newton, Wisconsin.
now that things are underway in our international red and white show on our cow show day, be a very appropriate time to once again introduce our judges. Our official judge is Jamie Black of Batavia, New York. Jamie spent his life surrounded by cattle. Growing up at Montdale Holsteins in Eastern Ontario, Jamie now works at Oakfield Corners Dairy where he cares for high type cattle and the show strength. He also owns Opportunity Holsteins and Jerseys, which is made up of about 70 animals. Jamie's played a part in developing numerous All-American and All-Canadian nominees in both the Holstein and Jersey breeds throughout his career. He's no stranger to judging cattle and has evaluated Holsteins at the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair, the Northeastern Fall and Eastern National Shows, and the Quebec and Ontario Spring Shows. Jamie has also traveled internationally to judge in Brazil, Argentina, and South Korea. Serving as the associate judge of the 2019 International Red and White Show is Patrick Lundy. He resides in Granville, New York, where he's the part owner of Lundcrest Farm, a 200 cow registered Holstein dairy. After completing an agriculture business degree at SUNY Cobaskill, he worked as a full-time dairy cattle fitter for eight years. While doing this, he had the opportunity to prepare cattle for shows and sales in 10 different countries. Pat has been a part owner of more than 10 All-American nominees, and last year, the farm bred two All-American and All-Canadian nominees. Over the past four years, the team at Lungcrest Farm has bred or owned more than 25 All-New York nominees. Pat has placed cattle at various county, regional, and state shows throughout the Northeast, including the Maryland Spring Show. Let's give these two gentlemen a big round of applause this morning here at our International Red and White Show. And folks, we are ready to announce the winners for the senior two-year-old cows for the International Guernsey Show. Our second place junior, as well as our best utter award winner and third place overall finisher, is Langhaven Pilot Tahiti, Jenna Langer, West Salem, Wisconsin. Our first place junior, as well as our second place overall finisher, Warwick Manor LS Suite, Kayla, Carly, and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. And our junior bread and owned, let's see, our first place overall winner, as well as bread and owned award winner and production award winner, is number 1703, Up the Creek, Toby Cadiddle, Karen Anderson Johnson, Lester Prairie, Minnesota. Congratulations. Judge Seth, tell us more about this fine class, please. Well, really a nice class of uh, Guernsey senior two-year-olds here. A little more diversity, a few more different shapes and sizes here. We sorted them a couple different ways, but in, at the end of the day, I think this cow that wins the class is the kind of cow that we want. She's balanced, she's correct, she's straight. She's got a youthful mammary system. The kind of cow that I think you can see getting better and better as time goes by. She has the advantage over this uh, big heifer coming out in second. She's 
she's stronger over that top line. She's stronger in the chine. She holds that shoulder together just a little nicer. As she moves, she's stronger on those pass turns, a little flatter and cleaner through that, through that hawk and a heifer that holds those pins down uh, more correctly uh, more often than this big heifer coming out in second. Second over third, uh, the heifer uh, in second, she does use that tremendous advantage in depth and openness of rib. There's so much heifer there. There's so much capacity. She has that advantage uh, over this third place heifer. And in her own right, she's, uh, I think, more correct in the way she handles those rear legs, a little more healthy flex to the hawk uh, than the third place heifer coming out. This third place heifer, I made best udder in the class. You love that rear udder that it goes all the way up. It's high and wide. And it's balanced in those rear quarters, which is her big advantage over this fourth place heifer coming out. Just a, a little imbalance at the top of the rear rudder on the red heifer coming out in fourth. But what a heifer. She's got strength. She's got balance. She's got depth of rib. And she uses that overall balance to place over this tall, long heifer coming out to follow her. Uh, a heifer that just hasn't pulled it all together yet, but with a rear rudder like that is going to be uh, forced to be reckoned with down the road. Congratulations. Thank you, Judge. And here are the results if you're keeping track of the senior two-year-old cows for the Guernsey Show. Number 1697 did not show. 1698 was 8th. 1699 was ninth. 1700 was 7th. 1701 did not show. 1702 was second overall, first junior, Warwick Manor, L.S. Sweet, Kayla, Carly, and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. Number 1703 was our overall winner, also winner of the Bread and Owned Award and the Production Award, Up the Creek, Toby Cadiddle, Karen Anderson Johnson, Lester, Lester Prairie, Minnesota. Her production numbers, in 193 days of milking, she produced 10,838 pounds of milk, 432 pounds of milk fat at 4%, and 326 pounds of protein at 3%. 1704 was fourth. 1705 and 06 did not show. 1707 was 5th, 1708 was 10th, 1709 did not show, 1710 was 3rd overall, 2nd place junior, junior bred and owned winner and best utter winner, Langhaven Pilot Tahiti, Jenna Langer, West Salem, Wisconsin. Also entry 1711 was 6th. Now in the ring for the International Guernsey Show, the junior 3 year old cows. Our first place award is presented by Hordes Dairyman of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Our production award is presented by Prairie Farms Dairy Incorporated, Edwardsville, Illinois. Best Utter Rosette presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. And our junior award is presented by Fritchie Farms, Registered Guernseys, The Fritchies, New Ulm, Minnesota.
the International Red and White Show Ring. Judge Black has completed his placings in our senior two-year-old cow class. We'd like to acknowledge the junior-owned animals in the class. Second place junior is entry 2490. We'll star D-back T-Bell Red, exhibited by Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst of Hartford, Wisconsin. First place junior and also winning the Junior Bread and Owned Award is entry 2665, Opsal Diamondback Madison Red, exhibited by Joseph Troy Opsal of Blue Mounds, Wisconsin. Winning the Bread and Owned Award and the Production Award in the class is entry 2483, Ruan D.B. Shah Red, exhibited by Stephen and Patrick Maddox of Riverdale, California. Placing third in the class is entry 2489, Miss AOL DB Raspberry Red, exhibited by Jaden and Kenny Kimball, Elite Haven Genetics, and Lookout Farm of Canton de Hatley, Quebec. Second in the class is entry 2491, Flower Brook Coral Red, exhibited by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. In winning the class and also named Best Utter is entry 2484, Ms. Awesome Atomic Red, exhibited by Dobriner, Bowen, and Schilling of West Salem, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge Black, your reasons. Well, ladies and gentlemen, another tremendous class here in our Senior 2 class. So we got some different shapes and sizes, some different... Uh, number of lactations and some different stages of lactation. Both two heifers, different kind of heifers that sort themselves to the top, but her heifer in first just has so much more overall width today. She's snugger in her attachments. She's showing us a little more height than width at the top to her rear udder today and a little square in that rear udder today than this beautiful dairy second caver coming out in second. The second place heifer over the heifer in third, a heifer that moves around the ring a little more comfortably today. A heifer also, she's a little snugger of her attachment. She's showing us a little more udder quality and udder texture today than this extremely balanced heifer here in third. The third place heifer over the heifer in fourth, a heifer, she's a little more feminine all the way through. She's cleaner cut all the way through. She's showing us a little more natural dairiness today than our big heifer here in fourth. The fourth place heifer over the heifer in fifth, a heifer that she's wider all the way through. She blends a little nicer in her parts, showing us a little more width and power up through her front end than another beautiful uttered second caver here coming out in fifth. Thank you. If you're marking your catalogs along with us in the International Red and White Show, there were 14 senior two-year-old cows Entry 2478 did not show. 2479 was 11th. 2480 did not show. Entry 2481 was 8th. 2482 was 6th. Entry 2483 was 5th in the class, won the production award and the bread and owned award. Ruan D.B. Shah Red, exhibited by Stephen and Patrick Maddox of Riverdale, California. Entry 2484 was first and won the Best Utter Award, Ms. Awesome Atomic Red, exhibited by Dobriner, Bowen, and Schilling of West Salem, Ohio. Entry 2485 was 12th. 2486 did not show. Entry 2487 was 14th. 2488 was 13th. Entry 2489 was third in the class, Ms. AOL DB Raspberry Red, exhibited by Jaden and Kennedy Kimball, Elite Haven Genetics, and Lookout Farm of Canton de Hatley, Quebec. Entry 2490 was ninth in the second junior. Will star D back T Bell Red, exhibited by Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst of Hartford, Wisconsin. Entry 2491 was second. Flower Brook Coral Red, exhibited by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. Entry 2664, added entry, was fourth. Her name is Willomar Diamondback Rose Red, exhibited by Triple T Holsteins and Mike Heath of North Lewisburg, Ohio. Added entry 2665, was seventh in the class. And first junior... Opsal Diamondback Madison Red, exhibited by Joseph Troy Opsal of Blue Mounds, Wisconsin. And added entry 2666, placed 10th, 
Westfall, ELG, Av Memphis Red, exhibited by Glamourview, Jaeger and Walton of Walkersville, Maryland. Now entering the ring in the International Red and White Show is our junior three-year-old class. The first place award is presented by Starlike Acres, Carla Smeja of Little Falls, Minnesota. Production award presented by Prairie Farms Dairy, Best Utter Rosette by the Cattle Connection. And the junior award is presented by Lions Holstein's Doug and Lynette Lions of Castalia, Iowa. At this time, in the International Red and White Show, we have a little administrative work and things to report from yesterday's heifer show. Premier Breeder was calculated yesterday after the show, and Premier Breeder of the 2019 International Red and White Heifer Show was Milk Source Genetics, Kakana, Wisconsin. Congratulations. We also calculated the premier sire of the heifer show. And at the end of the day, with many, many heifers exhibited, we had a tie for premier sire. Tied for premier sire are Cycle Maguchi Jordy Red, 
And Diamond Holm, Mr. Apple's Avalanche, tied for premier sire of yesterday's Heifer Show. This time, we also want to make sure we um, acknowledge the people that are very, very important to keeping these shows running so efficiently and presented so well for those spectators in the stands and everybody that's watching the video feed at home, the volunteers that make these breed show shows happen. We would like to thank our ringman, Mike Snyder, those people helping at ringside and checking in, Verlo DeWall and Jessica Prawley. Casey Maypark is our 2019 Wisconsin Red and White Holstein Association Princess, handing out awards. Cassie, Cassie Giebert is our 2019 National Red and White Queen. Nancy Sell of Twisted Jeans is the Red and White Dairy Cattle Association photographer, taking some headshots and the award winners. Mandy Sell from Wisconsin Red and White and ST Genetics is helping with placings, as is Barb Kaiser, Julie Cooper, Joe Martin is manning the pad and taking placings and is our ears on the floor down there. Bill Peck from Coon North America, and of course, we couldn't do it without Bill Langle of Central Star Select Sires, who is also manning the helm down in the ring. So we thank everyone at ringside and down below. It makes our job up here much, much easier, and I'm sure it makes watching the show very, very pleasurable for those at ringside and at home. So let's give these volunteers for the Red and White Show a big round of applause. And folks, we're ready to announce the winners in the junior three-year-old cow class for the International Guernsey Show. Our second place junior and junior bred known award winner is Hickman Valley's Martin Briley, Michaela Hickman, Shelbyville, Tennessee. Our first place junior and production award winner is Warwick Manor, Miss America, Kayla, Carly, and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. Our junior bred known award winner we already announced that. Our and uh, our bread and owned award winner overall is number 1714. Also, our second place finisher, Valley Gem Luck Deidre, Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. Third place and best utter award winner is Milbourne HP Alamo Finally, Finally Syndicate, Granby, Connecticut. And our overall winner is 1721 H Broke Levi Tate, Springville Farms, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge Seth, tell us about this class, please. 
Well, another really good class here in the junior three-year-old class and uh, great utters up and down the line. I mean, there's not an average utter in here. They're all really good. It's, it's great to see this kind of utters on these cows. But when you get up to the top of this class, they're truly stunning mammary systems on these, and certainly on these top three cows. Uh, this cow that starts the class, she's got that uphill run. She's got that great open rib and she carries that mammary system so high and youthful above those hawks. She uses her advantage in that uphill run compared to the second place cow. She's just higher at the point of the shoulder. You get in front of these two cows and this first one just wants to show. She's got that uphill train look. You get to the rear udder on those two cows. That first cow just holds her udder higher above. She's attached higher in that rear udder attachment. She's got a bit more width at the top of the rear udder attachment than this second place cow. But take nothing away from the second cow. She's a lovely cow with a beautiful deep rib and a beautiful mammary system today. She goes over the third place cow. Just She's so much more comfortable in the way she moves about the ring on those feet and legs today. And she's also flatter, cleaner, just uh, showing more bloom today. Just a more angular cow all the way through. I did make this third place cow best udder. There, that's just a monster rear udder on her. It's high, it's wide, it's super well attached. And she uses that rear udder to play, place over this cow that comes out in fourth. Perhaps the best frame cow we've seen today. She's hard topped, she's hard loined. She has that uphill run. She's so balanced and pretty. Just doesn't have that fill to the rear udder today to get higher in the class. But she does use that overall style, the balance, and the length of her fore udder to place over the cow that follows her. Congratulations. For those of you following along in your catalogs, here are the results for the junior three-year-old cows for the Guernsey Show. Number 1712 was seventh. 1713 was tenth. Number 1714 finished second overall and won our bread and owned award, Valley Gem Luck Deidre, Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. 1715 did not show. 1716 was eighth. 1717 did not show. 1717 did not show. 1718 was ninth. 1719 was fifth. Second junior and junior bred and owned winner. Hickman Valley's Martin Briley. Michaela Hickman, Shelbyville, Tennessee. 1720 did not show. 1721 was our overall winner. H broke Levi Tate, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. 1722 did not show. 1723 finished third and was our best utter winner. Milbourne HP Alamo finally, the finally syndicate, Granby, Connecticut. Number 1723 finished third. That's the one we just read. 1724 was fourth overall, first junior and our production award winner, Warwick Manor, Miss America, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. Her production numbers, in 289 days of milking, she produced 19,263 pounds of milk, 1,019 pounds of milk fat at 5.3% and 651 pounds of protein at 3.3%. And 1725 finished sixth. Now in the show ring of the International Guernsey Show, our senior three-year-old cows. Our first place award is presented by Misty Meadows Farm, Randy and Kelly Joe Peterson, Woodville, Wisconsin. Our production award is presented by Prairie Farms Dairy, Edwardsville, Illinois. Best Daughter Rosette, presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. And our junior award is presented by Erdman Dairy, Myron Erdman, Chenoa, Illinois.
All right, folks, we're ready to announce the results in the senior three-year-old cow class for the International Guernsey Show. Our junior first place winner, as well as the winner of the Junior Bread and Owned Award, Production Award, and Bread and Owned Award, as well as third place overall, Dixley Royce JJ, Whitten, Whitley, Whitney Lee Arena, Phillipsburg, Missouri. Our Best Auto Award winner, let's hold that for a second. Our second place overall winner is 1727, Prairie Moon Sydney Sugar, Valley Gem and Gold Rush, Cumberland, Wisconsin. And our first place winner, as well as Best Utter Award winner, goes to Spring Hill Kojak Unique, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge Seth, please tell us about the senior three-year-olds, please. Well, a small class, but there's good utters uh, up and down the line here. This cow that starts the class, I think, does so quite handily for us. She's the deep, open, powerful cow. I did make her best utter in the class based on the quality of her mammary system. You love the veins all over that utter. There's balance in, that rear quarter, in those rear quarters. And she's just got that tremendous strength and power, and she uses that front end, the width of the front end, the depth of the fore rib, the depth of rear rib to place over this cow in second. Additionally, this first cow is longer through that fore udder. She's higher and wider in the rear udder attachment today than this lovely red cow coming out in second. Second over third, a cow that's just more upstanding. She's a bit cleaner all the way through, a little sharper at the shoulder today, a little more in show shape today. She's also carrying that udder uh, quite a bit higher above the hock today than this cow coming out here in third. Love the balance and power and strength and the udder attachments on this third place cow. She uses an advantage in height and width of rear udder today to place over this fourth place cow that just had her third calf. She's a little, that third place cow is a little longer in her fore udder attachment, just a bit cleaner all the way through. Fourth over fifth, uh, a cow that's just harder uh, behind that shoulder. She's stronger front-ended. She's more powerful. That rear udder runs, runs up a little higher. It's not tuckly, uh, snug, tuckly, more, tucked more snugly, perhaps, into that body wall than the fifth-place cow as she comes out. Fifth place over sixth, just a more youthful cow, a younger-looking cow today that carries that mammary system udder up higher above the hock than this big framed cow that comes out in six. Congratulations. Turning your attention to the International Red and White Show Ring, Judge Black has completed his placings in the junior three-year-old cow class. We'd like to recognize the juniors in the class. Second place junior and also winning the production award is entry 2505, Nails Valley Ribbon Red, exhibited by Casey and Chloe Van Der Eyck of Tipton, California. Placing third in the class is entry 2509, Rob Sarah, Aw, Lovely Red, exhibited by Busker and Meyer of Rydot, Illinois. Second in the class is entry 2506, Uberhaven, Defiant Chrome Red, exhibited by Brett Richter and Tyler Carter of Greenville, Illinois. And winning the class, also first junior, named Best Utter, Winning the Bread and Owned Award and the Junior Bread and Owned Award is entry 2507, Mead Manor, Defiant Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Congratulations. <laughs> Jamie, your comments on the class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a tremendous class in front of us here in this junior three-year-old class. Terrific cows from top to bottom. With that being said, three cows again that sort themselves to the top of the class. But our cow winning the class does so handily. A cow that's longer of her frame. She's square all the way through. I just prefer she, her rear udder climbs a little bit higher. She's a little bit cleaner all the way through than this extremely well-balanced cow here in second. The second place cow over the cow in third, a little closer, but her cow in second just moves around the ring a little more comfortably on her feet today and showing us a little more definition of that median suspensory than this extremely dairy cow here in third. Our third place cow over the cow in fourth, a cow that has an advantage today in the levelness of the floor of her udder. She's got more height, more width to that rear udder, and she's a little squarer of her udder today than this beautiful framed cow in fourth. The fourth place cow over the cow in fifth, two different kind of cows, but our cow in fourth showing us more width all the way through. She's a little more balanced in her frame. She's got a little more depth all the way through as well than this big rear udder white cow here in fifth. Fifth over sixth is that height, that width to her rear udder, that definition to crease her udder texture and udder quality. But again, tremendous, tremendous class of junior three-year-olds. Thank you. Folks, turning your attention to the Guernsey Show, now in the ring are the animals competing for Intermediate Champion Female of the Junior Show. 
I'd like to introduce our entries for this class. Number 1664, Thurston Farms Primetime Trixie, Katie Livingston, West Winfield, New York. 1668 is Knapp's A Pie Too Pretty, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. 1682 is Cooley Crest Top Gun Dulcie, Michaela Lepke, Cashton, Wisconsin. 1686 is High Gurn View, Asia's Africa, Elena Dinderman, Orangeville, Illinois. 1702 is Warwick Manor LS Suite, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. 1710 is Langhaven Pilot Tahiti, Jenna Langer, West Salem, Wisconsin. 1724 is Warwick Manor, Miss America, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. 1719 is Hickman Valley's Martin Briley, Michaela Hickman, Shelbyville, Tennessee. Also, number 1735, Dixley Royce JJ, Whitley, Whitney Lee Urena, Phillipsburg, Missouri. Our Intermediate Champion Female of the Junior Show Award is presented by High Gurn View Farm, Brian and Christy Dinderman, Orangeville, Illinois. Our Champion Banner is presented by Show Fresh H2O, Ames, Iowa. And the Rosette is presented by Doug and Linda Hodorf of Eden, Wisconsin. Our Reserve Intermediate Champion Female of the Junior Show Award is presented by the American Guernsey Youth Association. The Reserve Champion Banner presented by Show Fresh H2O, Ames, Iowa, and the rosette is presented by Doug and Linda Hodorf, Eden, Wisconsin. Good luck, everybody. For those of you tracking results for the Guernsey Show in your catalogs, here are the results of the senior three-year-old cows. Class number 533. Number 1726 did not show. 1727 was second. Prairie Moon, Sydney Sugar. Valley Gem and Gold Rush, Cumberland, Wisconsin. 1728 was sixth. 1729 did not show. 1730 was fourth. 1731 was fifth. 1732 did not show. 1733 was first overall and best utter winner, Spring Hill Kojak Unique, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. 1734 did not show. And 1735 was third overall, first junior, junior bread and owned award, production award, and bread and owned award winner, Dix Lee Royce JJ, Whitney Lee Arena, Phillipsburg, Missouri. If you're marking your catalogs in the international red and white show ring, there were 16 junior three-year-olds exhibited this morning. Entry 2492 was 12th. 2493 was 10th. Entry 2494 did not show. Entry 2495 was 4th. Entries 2496 and 2497 did not show. Entry 2498 was 16th. 2499 was 15th. Entry 2500 was 14th, and entry 2501 was 13th. 2502 was 6th, entry 2503 placed 11th. 2504 was 7th, entry 2505 was 5th in the class, our second junior, and also won the production award, Nails Valley Ribbon Red, exhibited by Casey and Chloe Vanderike of Tipton, California. Entry 2506 was second in the class. Uberhaven Defiant Chrome Red, exhibited by Brett Richter and Tyler Carter of Greenville, Illinois. Entry 2507 was first in the class, also named Best Utter, won the Bread Owned Award and the Junior Bread Owned Award. Mead Manor Deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Entry 2508 placed ninth. 2509 was third in the class. Rob Sarah Ah Lovely Red, exhibited by Busker and Meyer of Rydot, Illinois. And entry 2510 placed eighth. Now in the ring in the International Red and White Show is our senior three year old cow class. First place award is presented by Portacek of Moorestown, New Jersey. Production Award presented by Prayer Farms Dairy. 
Best Outer Rosette by the Cattle Connection, and the Junior Award is presented by Troy's Transport, Troy and Sarah Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. And folks, it looks like Judges Johnson and Lance have made the determinations for Intermediate Champion Female of the Junior Show. Take it away. Thank you. I think it's been a, a really nice uh, young cow show in the Junior Show. And we pulled the four animals that uh, we most admired uh, out into the middle. We've got this fall yearling in milk that won her class in the open show. She's, she's so uh, strong. She's so ready to show just a... A few weeks fresh and as a fall yearling milk and you love the udder on that cow, the high wide rear udder attachment. We've got this uh, senior two year old out here, uh, a cow that's just silky and dairy. She's just so open in her rib and a beautiful mammary system on her. It's so well attached and uh, it's just right today I think. And then we've got this senior three. She's big, she's long, she's super hard top. She's as pretty framed a cow as maybe came out today. She's just uh, made so well in that frame. Uh, and. She's had a couple calves, and that udder is super well attached, uh, beautifully blended four udder on this uh, young cow as well. And then we pulled this senior three-year-old out, a different style of cow. She's got a tremendous mammary system on her. You just love to stand behind this cow and look at that height and width of rear udder attachment, the way that four udder blends into the body wall, and the tremendous power. I think she's the kind of a cow we'd all love to have in our barns. I'm going to go out. I'll congratulate your intermediate champion of the junior show, followed by the reserve and the honorable mention in that order, and certainly show them your appreciation for these young people. For us, as, uh, as we watch these young cows come out, this fall yearling in milk is just right on. Uh, you know, she started the day today. She hit the ring. Uh, she's first or second animal in the ring this morning in this show. And wow, she just she caught our eye right away. She's got that frame that's ready to roll. She's open ribbed. And for a fall yearling in milk, just check out that rear udder. It's high. It's wide. It's beautiful center support. It's uh, well attached and way up above the hocks. You can just see this cow developing and developing. And I think, uh, to me today, just a little more uh, ready in that rear udder, a little more rear udder development uh, for her age than, this, uh, than the junior three-year-old that follows her in reserve. Just love the frame on this cow. And that's what gets her over the, the senior two-year-old that I made honorable mention, this uh, senior three, just harder over that top, just stronger behind the point of the shoulder. She's just got that beautiful, stylish frame on her. Congratulations. So for the 2019 International Guernsey Show, the intermediate champion female of the junior show is number 1664, Thurston Farms Primetime Trixie, Katie Livingston, West Winfield, New York. Our reserve champion is number 1724, Warwick Manor, Miss America, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania, with honorable mention going to number 1702, Warwick Manor, LS Suite, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, everybody.
This time I'd like to introduce our entrance for Intermediate Champion Female for the International Guernsey Show for 2019. Number 1664 is Thurston Tar Farms Primetime Trixie, Katie Livingston, West Winfield, New York. 1670 is Prairie Moon Tea Gun La Rosa's, Leslie Syverson, Walk on Iowa. Number 1679 is Spring Hill Mentor Joyce, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. 1678 is Snyder's HP, GG Pie Ashton, Prairie Cream and Valley Gem, Cumberland, Wisconsin. Number 1703 is Up the Creek, Toby Cadiddle, Karen Anderson Johnson, Lester Prairie, Minnesota. 1702 is Warwick Manor LS Suite, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. 1721 is H. Broke Levi Tate, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. 1714, Valley Gem Luck Deidre, Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. 1733 is Spring Hill Kojak Unique, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. And 1727 is Prairie Moon, Sydney Sugar, Valley Gem and Gold Rush, Cumberland, Wisconsin. The Eugene Nelson Intermediate Champion Award is presented in memory of Alan and Mardell Sievert by Badgers Drift Guernseys, Stephen Sievert and Philip Keller of Madison. Our champion banner is presented by Bovatech, Guelph, Ontario, Canada. And the champion rosette is presented by Genovations Lodi. Our reserved Intermediate Champion Female Award is presented by Ag Pro Incorporated, Paris, Texas. The reserved champion banner presented by Bovatech, Guelph, Ontario, Canada. And our reserve champion rosette is presented by Rivendale Farms, Bulger, Pennsylvania. Good luck, everybody.
looks like he's walking. And it looks like Judge Seth has made his determinations for intermediate champion female of the Guernsey Show. Judge Seth Johnson, take it away. Well, it's been a fantastic uh, young cow show here. And uh, I pulled out too many probably, but these six young cows are the cows, the kind of cows that I like. They get me excited from the time that yearling and milk came in the ring until we finished the, the uh, senior three-year-old class. They're open ribbed, they're deep ribbed, they're great uttered cows. All six of these cows wear fantastic mammary systems. There's veins all over them. They're super well attached. They're high and wide in their rear udder attachments. And I'm not gonna talk about each individual cow uh, since I did pull six out here, but I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna congratulate your intermediate champion, followed by your reserve and your honorable mention, and certainly show your appreciation for these great udder Guernsey cows. Three incredible cows that, that really get me excited. This junior three-year-old comes out, she walks uphill, she's silky hided, she's open rib, there's so much space between those ribs. And you get on that mammary system that she holds that udder up so high above the hocks, that rear udder runs up just so high. She's just a gorgeous, gorgeous cow. It gets a little closer for reserve and honorable mention for me, uh, but today, uh, this fall yearling in milk, uh, she's better on her pasturns today. She stands more comfortably on those rear legs today, and at this point later in the show, she's holding that balance in those rear quarters for me today better than this incredible, incredible junior two-year-old. She's so silky framed, and she's got that big square rear udder. But these three cows really get me excited, and I think they're tremendous examples of the Guernsey breed. Congratulations. So our intermediate champion female of the 2019 International Guernsey Show is number 1721, H. Broke Levi Tate, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Our reserve champion, number 1664, Thurston Farms Primetime Trixie, Katie Livingston, West Winfield, New York, with honorable mention going to 1679, Spring Hill Mentor Joyce, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations, everybody. Next in the ring for the International Guernsey Show are the four-year-old cows. Our first place award is presented by Muffet's Twin Acres, Jacob and Elizabeth Radel of Edgewood, Illinois. Our production awards presented by Prairie Farms Dairy, Edwardsville, Illinois. The best udder rosette presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. And the junior award is presented by Badger's Drift Guernseys, Stephen Sievert and Philip Keller, Madison, Wisconsin.
No ring the International Red and White Show Ring. Judge Black has completed his placings in our senior three-year-old cow class. We'd like to recognize those juniors in the class. Second place junior is entry 2515, King Lane Abs Always Red, exhibited by Schaefer, Jackson, and Waldock of Little Falls, Minnesota. First junior in the class is entry 2530, Mackland T.S. Juliet A. Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class is entry 2527, Ms. Apple Adriana Red, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins, Chilliwack, British Columbia. Second in the class is entry 2522, she also wins the Bread and Owned Award, Linehan Prin Fahrenheit Red, exhibited by Matt Linehan of Hillsdale, New York. And winning the class, and also named Best Utter, and winning the production award, is entry 2531, Rosedale Pretty Fancy in Red, exhibited by Balweg Hickory Hills Dairy of Dane, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Jamie, your reasons on the class. Another nice class of cows here in our senior three-year-old class, and again, uh, some variances all the way through. But our cow and first illogical winner for us, a cow that's extremely well balanced. A cow that has an advantage over the cow in second. She just got more height, more width to that rear udder, showing us so much more definition of that suspensory ligament today than this extremely balanced cow here in second. The cow in second over the cow in third, a cow that's showing us a little more width, more power all the way through. She's got a little more udder quality and udder texture to this extremely dairy, than this extremely dairy cow coming out in third. The third place cow over the cow in fourth, a cow for us that has a definite advantage in the way she moves around the ring. She's so much more comfortable and moves around her udder a little nicer than this big cow here coming out in fourth. The fourth place cow over the cow in fifth, a cow that's got so much more width all the way through her front end, more depth through her front end, and carries that depth all the way back through. But when we get behind her, this cow is just so much deeper. That suspensory ligament showing us so much more udder quality and udder texture today than extremely stylish dairy cow in fifth. Fifth over sixth, a cow just carrying her milk a little higher today than this recently fresh third calf cow here in sixth. Thank you. If you're marking your catalogs with us in the International Red and White Show, there were 17 senior three-year-olds exhibited this morning. Entry 2511 placed 12th. 2512 was 16th. 2513 did not show. Entry 2514 was 15th. 2515 was 11th and the second junior, King Lane Abs Always Red, exhibited by Schaefer, Jackson, and Waldock of Little Falls, Minnesota. Entry 2516 was fifth. 2517 placed fourth. 2518 was eighth. Entries 2519 and 2520 did not show. Entry 2521 was ninth. Entry 2522 was second in the class and won the Bread and Owned Award. Linehan Prin Fahrenheit Red, exhibited by Matt Linehan of Hillsdale, New York. Entry 2523 was 14th. 2524 was 10th. Entry 2525 was 7th. 2526 did not show. Entry 2527 was third in the class. Ms. Apple Adriana Red, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins of Chilliwack, British Columbia. Entry 2528 was 17th, 2529 was 13th, entry 2530 was 6th, and the first junior, Mackland T.S. Juliet A. Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. And entry 2531 was the class winner. She also won the Best Utter Award and the Production Award, Rosedale Pretty Fancy in Red, exhibited by Balweg Hickory Hills of Dane, Wisconsin. Now entering the ring in the International Red and White Show are those animals competing for the Intermediate Champion Female of the Junior Show. The Intermediate Champion wins an award presented by Double S Liquid Feed Services of Danville, Illinois. A champion banner presented by Show Fresh H2O of Ames, Iowa, 
and a rosette presented by Doug and Lita Hodorf of Eden, Wisconsin. The reserve intermediate champion of the junior show wins an award presented by Hickory Hill Hoof Care, Brett Balweg of Dean, Wisconsin. The reserve champion banner presented by Showfresh H2O and a rosette presented by Doug and Linda Hodorf. This time we'd like to introduce those young cows and their young handlers that are competing for intermediate champion of the junior show. First junior in the milking yearling class was entry 2443. Apple Partners Abriana Red, exhibited by Connor Nevin Erbson of Lanark, Illinois. Second junior in that class was entry 2439, Holbrook Ammo, a Canadian red, exhibited by Megan Ford and Adam Ulbrich of Harvard, Illinois. First junior in the summer junior two-year-old cow class was entry 2461, Crescent Mead Allegro red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Second junior in that class was entry 2455, Hosley D-back Chloe Red, exhibited by Taylor Fester of Grove City, Minnesota. The first place junior in our junior two-year-old cow class was entry 2471, Karakesh RK RGM Red, exhibited by Curtis Evelyn and Agnes Griffin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Second in that class, was entry 2472, Crescent Mead Rockstar Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. The winning junior in our senior two-year-old cow class was entry 2665, Opsal Diamondback Madison Red, exhibited by Joseph Troy Opsal of Blue Mounds, Wisconsin. Second junior in that class was entry 2490, Will Star D-back T-Bell Red, exhibited by Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst of Hartford, Wisconsin. First winning junior in our junior three-year-old cow class was entry 2507, Mead Manor Deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Second in that class was entry 2505, Nails Valley Ribbon Red, exhibited by Casey and Chloe Vanderike of Tipton, California. And the winning junior in our recently completed senior three-year-old cow class was entry 2530, Maclan T.S. Juliet A. Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Second junior in that class was entry 2515, King Lane Abs Always Red, exhibited by Schaefer, Jackson, and Waldock of Little Falls, Minnesota. Let's give these kids a big round of applause. They've brought out some beautiful young cows this morning.
And this time, in our international red and white show ring, Judges Black and Lundy have done their deliberations and finished out here with their final four, best four young cows of our junior show here this morning. Jamie, when you're ready, we'll have your selection of intermediate champion of the junior show and your reasons to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these juniors a big, big round of applause. They had a tremendous show all the way through today. We had cows stood very high in our open classes. Cows, extremely good uttered cows. I'm not going to talk about them again. My associate Pat's going to go out, select an intermediate reserve, an honorable mention in that order, and we'll give our reasons to follow. Our first prize, junior three-year-old, is going to be your uh, intermediate of your junior show, a heifer that's extremely balanced, a beautiful uttered heifer, a heifer that's just so much more heifer this morning. But she definitely has advantage in the levelness to the floor of her udder. She's showing us a little more height and width to that rear udder today than this beautiful uttered junior two for reserve. Reserve, over honorable mention, it's a little closer, but our reserve intermediate champion, just a cow that's a little more ready today. Just a little more spring and openness to that rib, carrying her milk a little bit higher than this recently fresh third calf senior three for honorable mention, a heifer with a bright, bright future. Congratulations. Congratulations to the intermediate champion of the 2019 International Red and White Junior Show. She's our winning junior three-year-old, entry 2507, Mead Manor, deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Our reserve intermediate champion is our winning junior two-year-old, entry 2471, Karakesh RK Gem Red, exhibited by Curtis, Evelyn, and Agnes Griffin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Honorable mention intermediate champion goes to our senior three-year-old, entry 2530, Maclan TS Juliet A. Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Congratulations. This time in the International Red and White Show Ring, these cows entering are competing for Intermediate Champion. They were first and second in the Young Cow classes here today. The Intermediate Champion female wins the Eugene Nelson Intermediate Champion Award presented by Giltex Holsteins of Turlock, California. She also wins a champion banner presented by Bovatech of Guelph, Ontario, and a rosette presented by Genovations of Lodi, Wisconsin. The reserve intermediate champion female wins an award presented by Copacetic Farm of Henderson, Maryland. The reserve champion banner presented by Bovatech, and a rosette presented by Rivendell Farms, Bulger, Pennsylvania. This time we'd like to introduce those cows and the exhibitors that are competing for intermediate champion. We had nine milking yearlings 
come through the ring this morning. The winner was entry 2437, Brookview Deaf Curly Q Red, exhibited by Glamourview, Jaeger and Walton of Walkersville, Maryland. Second in the class was entry 2435, Blondin Avalanche Darlene, exhibited by Farron Blondin and Blondin Sires of Saint Placide, Quebec. The winner in our summer junior two-year-old cow class, we had 12 summer junior two-year-olds competing, was entry 2462, Flower Brook Diamond Red, exhibited by Andrew Stewie of Hamburg, Minnesota. Second in that class was entry 2458, Cherry Lore D-Back Robin Red, exhibited by Kale Hembury of Milmont, Pennsylvania. There were 13 junior two-year-old cows Competing this morning, the winner was 2477, Weberlack Tickle Me Red, exhibited by Farron Blondin, Phillips and Wolf of Saint Placide, Quebec. Second in that class was entry 2475, Ms. Hillpine Knockout Red, exhibited by TNL Cattle of Rosedale, British Columbia. We had 14 senior two year old cows through the ring. The winner was entry 2484, Ms. Awesome Atomic Red, exhibited by Dobriner, Bowen, and Schilling of West Salem, Ohio. Second in the class was entry 2491, Flower Brook Coral Red, exhibited by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. There were 16 junior three-year-old cows, the winning entry was 2507, Mead Manor Deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Second in that class was 2506, Uberhaven Defiant Chrome Red, exhibited by Brett Richter and Tyler Carter of Greenville, Illinois. And we had 17 senior three-year-old cows. That was our biggest cow class this morning. The winning entry was number 2531, Rosedale Pretty Fancy in Red, exhibited by Balwig Hickory Hills of Dane, Wisconsin. Second in that class was entry 2522, Linehad Prin Fahrenheit Red, exhibited by Matt Linehan of Hillsdale, New York. It's certainly been a marvelous young cow show here this morning. Let's give these exhibitors and the breeders a big round of applause for the quality of these cows today.
And folks, we're ready to announce the winners in the four-year-old cow class of the International Guernsey Show. Our second place junior finisher, as well as the winner of our junior bred and owned award, is Hartdale mentor Coconut, Lauren Robeson and Braden Hartman, Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Our junior first place winner, as well as the winner of our production award, is Spring Hill mentor Jamaica, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. Our third place finisher is 1748 Cooley Crest fame Jalen, Madeline Top and Abigail Dickey, Wapakoneta, Ohio. Our second place finisher is number 1740, Knapp Spider Bank on Me, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. And our first place winner, as well as the winner of our Best Utter and Best Bread and Owned Award, Valley Gem Atlas Malt, Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge Seth, tell us more about these fine four-year-olds. Well, two fantastic cows to start the class. That These two cows just wear their udders so well. Their four-year-olds are getting into the more mature cows, and yet they're so both so youthful in their mammary systems. This cow that wins the class, though, she does so on uh, an advantage in quality of her hawk. She's flatter and cleaner through that hawk. She stands more squarely on those rear legs uh, when they're in line. And you get behind these cows, this uh, winning cow just fills right up to the very top of that rear udder. She's got more bloom at the very top of the rear udder. She's also a little bit silkier hided, just a little more angular, but take nothing away from this cow coming out in second. She runs uphill. She's got that youthful mammary system, and she does use that, that mammary system to place over the cow coming out in third. She's snugger in that fore udder attachment, uh, more snug in the rear udder attachment, and higher and wider in that attachment as well. Love the silky dairy cow coming out in third. She uses that uh, silkiness, that flatness of bone, that uh, she's just a little more in condition today to place over the cow coming out in fifth. The cow in fifth is all about power and strength. Uh, she, she uses her uh, more correct rump structure to place over, over the cow here uh, that follows her out in fifth. She's got a more, uh, the fourth place cow's got a more correct slope from hooks to pins. She's wider through those pins. Uh, I do admit I love the other attachments on this fifth place cow, but just not the correctness of rump to place higher in the class today. Congratulations. Over in the International Red and White Show Ring, our judges, Jamie Black and Pat Lundy, have certainly had a beautiful young cow show here this morning. They saw 81 young cows pass through the ring. Now they've got to narrow down to their top five, the best of the best. Jamie, you've had a beautiful, beautiful young cow show this morning. We're really eager to hear your selection for intermediate champion of the show and your results to follow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've certainly had an incredible young cow show this morning. Let's give all the breeders, all the exhibitors, all the people that take care of these cows a big, big, big round of applause. As we've said earlier, we're not going to take up much of your time. I'm going to go out and have one last look, select an intermediate reserve in that order, and I'll give my reasons to follow. This Junior 2 is going to be your intermediate champion. This is mine and Pat's kind. This heifer is extremely well balanced. She's flawless foot and legged. A heifer for us that has a definite advantage over our Senior 2. 
She's just a little more comfortable in her loin. Prefer that slope from her hips to her pin. She's stronger of her loin today than this beautiful uttered senior two for reserve. Reserve over honorable mention, as we said in class, a half her just longer of her four utter, half her showing us a little more width all the way through her frame than another silky, silky dairy half her for honorable mention. Three tremendous young cows. Congratulations. Congratulations to the intermediate champion of the 2019 International Red and White Show. She's your winning junior two-year-old. Entry 2477, Weber Lack, Tickle Me Red, exhibited by Farron Blondin, Phillips and Wolf of Saint Placide, Quebec. Our reserve intermediate champion is our winning senior two-year-old. Entry 2484, Ms. Awesome Atomic Red, exhibited by Dobriner, Bowen and Schilling of West Salem, Ohio. And our honorable mention intermediate champion is our second place senior two-year-old, entry 2491, Flower Brook Coral Red, exhibited by Golden Oaks Farm, Wakanda, Illinois. Congratulations. For those of you tracking results for the International Guernsey Show, here are the results for the four-year-old cow class. 1736 did not show. 1737 was 10th, 1738 was 9th, 1739 was 5th, 1740 finished 2nd, Knapp Spider Bank on Me, Landed Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. 1741 was 8th, 1742 was our overall winner, Bread and Owned and Best Utter Award winner, Valley Gem Atlas Malt, Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. 1743 did not show. 1744 Finished sixth, was our second junior, and won our junior Brad Nolan Award, Hartdale Mentor Coconut, Lauren Robeson and Brayton Hartman, Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Number 1745 was seventh. Number 1746 finished fourth. First junior and was our production award winner, Spring Hill Mentor Jamaica, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. Her production in 297 days of milking was 21,042 pounds of milk, 1,285 pounds of milk fat at 6% and 670 pounds of protein at 3.2%. Number 1747 did not show. And number 1748 finished third. Cooley Crest fame Jalen, Madeline Top, and Abigail Dickey, Wapakoneta, Ohio. Now in the ring for the International Guernsey Show, the five-year-old cows. The first place award is presented by the Wisconsin Guernsey Breeders Association. Production Award presented by Prairie Farms Dairy, Edwardsville, Illinois. Best Auto Rosette presented by Cattle Connection, Amory, Wisconsin. And the Junior Award presented by Lone Acres Farm, the Kipp Family, North Prairie, Wisconsin. Now in the ring in the International Red and White Show is our four-year-old cow class. First place award is presented by Cosmopolitan Dairy Magazine of Hammond, Wisconsin. Production award by Prairie Farms Dairy. Best Utter Rosette by the Cattle Connection. And the junior award is presented by Ryan View Holsteins of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin.
And folks are ready to announce the results of the five-year-old cow class of the Guernsey Show. Our second place junior. completed its placings in our five-year-old cow class. We'd like to recognize the juniors in the class. Second place junior is entry 2556 Zare View Absolute High Time Red exhibited by Rosalie Zare of Grayman, Illinois. She also wins the Junior Bread and Owned Award. Our production award winner is entry 2567, Ms. Potsdale Defiant Tang Red, exhibited by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. Placing third in the class is entry 25, and wins the Bread Known Award. Class is entry 2551, Ms. A. Fairholme, and also named Best Utter is entry 2561, Absolute Lily Red, Glamour View, Yeager and Walton, and Eastings of Area. Congratulations. That's extremely good, ma'am. System is that we're at a carries her over our beautiful frame cow here. Come second, 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 and third. A cow just moves from the couple of days, straight line all the way through. She's a little. That's longer over four at her. She's leveler in the four at her today. Fourth place cow. Cow just a little nice. Extremely dairy cow here in fifth or sixth. So I the big long fresh and and like I said, it's been a couple hours at least. I don't know what time it is, but it's been a few hours since she hit the ring. That seam is still spot on. That rear udder is still incredible, and you just love that open rib. You can just see this heifer getting better and better and better. And she did use that rear udder to place over this junior three back uh, when we picked intermediate champion. But I love the style on this junior three and that balance, that hard top. That dairy quality, that ring presence is what places her over uh, her brother here in the four-year-old class. Congratulations. So once again, the grand champion female of the junior show for the 2019 International Guernsey Show is number 1664, Thurston Farms Primetime Trixie, Katie Livingston, West Winfield, New York. Our reserve champion is number 1724, Warwick Manor, Miss America, Kayla Carley and Coley, Colby Stolfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. And honorable mention goes to 1746, 
Spring Hill Mentor Jamaica, Kayla Carley and Colby Stoltzfus, East Earl, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. If you're marking your catalogs in the International Red and White Show, we had 13 five-year-old cows exhibited this morning. Entry 2547 was 11th, 2548 was 9th, 2549 was 12th. Entry 2550 did not show. Entry 2551 was 2nd, Ms. AOL Contender Revive Red, exhibited by Fairholme, Wapsiana, and Triple S of Anamosa, Iowa. Entry 2552 did not show. Entry 2553 was third in the class, first junior, and also won the Bread and Owned Award, Cherry Lore Lad Ripple Red, exhibited by Matthew Boop and Cale Hembury of Millmont, Pennsylvania. Entry 2554 did not show. Entry 2555 did not show. Entry 2556 was fifth in the class, second junior, and won the Junior Bread and Owned Award, Zareview Absolute High Time Red, exhibited by Rosalie Zare of Grayman, Illinois. Entry 2557 was 10th. Entries 2558, 2559, and 2560 did not show. Entry 2561 was first in the class and best utter, Highcroft Absolute Lily Red, exhibited by Glamourview, Jaeger and Walton, and Eaton Holsteins of Marietta, New York. Entry 2562 was sixth. 2563 placed fourth. Entry 2564 was 13th. 2565 was eighth. Entry 2566 did not show. And entry 2567 was seventh and won the production award. Ms. Potsdale Defiant Tang Red, exhibited by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. Now in the International Red and White Show Ring is our age cow class. These cows are all six years old or older. The first place award is presented by Joe and Ellen Hayner of Cannon Dig Dayuga, New York. The production award presented by Prairie Farms Dairy. Best Utter Rosette presented by the Cattle Connection. And the junior award is presented by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. Folks, at this time, we'd like to announce the winner of the Best Animal Bread Known for the Junior Show for this year's Guernsey Show. And the winner of that award is entry number 1750, Hartdale Top Notch Cocoa, presented by Lauren Robeson and Braden Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Congratulations. Now in the ring for the International Guernsey Show is the Best Three Females class. Our first place award is presented by Guernsey Marketing Services of Columbus, Ohio. The Bill Jones Trophy awarded annually by the New York Guernsey Breeders Cooperative, Inc. in honor of W.B. Bill Jones of White Plains, New York, who is a pioneer member of the New York Guernsey Breeders Cooperative. Some of you sitting and watching the International Red and White Show may have participated in the RW Red and White Dairy Cattle Association Scholarship Calf Raffle. We have the winners to announce at this time. They did the drawing a little earlier in the RWDCA booth. Third place winner was Joe Schluter. Second place winner was Sierra Olbridge. And the first place winner was Brian Wiesman. Congratulations.
you turn your attention to the International Red and White Show Ring. Judge Black has completed his placings in our age cow class. There were no junior exhibitors in the class. So placing third in the class and also winning the Bread Known Award is entry 2576. Crazy Four contender Dasha Red, exhibited by Kenny Capini of Tillamook, Oregon. Placing second in the class is entry 2572, Ms. Apple's Alita Red, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins of Chilliwack, British Columbia. And winning the class, and also named Best Utter, and putting that utter to use in winning the production award is entry 2676, Ms. Apple Aria Red, exhibited by Stephen and Patrick Maddox and Tyler Dickerhoff of Riverdale, California. Congratulations. Jamie, your reasons on the class. Again, another, not a great big class here, but a nice class from top to bottom, and a pair of cows that sort themselves to the top. But our cow in first today carries the best udder for us. She carries that milk a little higher, a little wider at the top of her rear udder. She's showing us more definition to her suspensory ligament today. And I also prefer the way she handles her loin, that slope from hips to pins, strength the loin over this extreme dairy cow here in second. The second place cow over the cow in third, it is that overall dairiness, femininity, breed character, and again, more height, more width to that rear udder than this extremely well-balanced cow in third. The third place cow over the cow in fourth, a cow that's stronger over loin, showing us a little more depth. I prefer her on the floor of her udder over this another dairy cow here in fourth. The fourth place cow over the cow in fifth, a cow that has a definite advantage in her udder texture, her udder quality today, and a little more width to that rear udder today than this beautiful balanced cow here in fifth. Thank you. And turning your attention to the Guernsey show, it looks like Judge Seth Johnson is ready to name the winners in the Guernsey Best Three Females. Take it away, Judge. Well, it's great to see all these groups out here, uh, all, all three animals bred by the exhibitor and uh, that we've got all these uh, breeder exhibitors. It's really tight at the top. There's two fantastic groups of, uh, of cows here. Um, the, the group that goes to the top, maybe just uh, as a group, uh, had a... All three maybe placed just a little bit higher, uh, maybe just by a spot or two, but uh, take nothing away from this uh, group here in second. They're all three dairy cows with great mammary systems under, under them, and uh, that group in second, just uh, more uniformity in the mammary systems than the, the group that follows out here in third. They, in turn, um, just have a little more maturity, a little more utter capacity, uh, a couple more older cows to uh, give them that maturity than the group that follows them after that. Congratulations. So for the 2019 Guernsey Show, best three females. Third place goes to Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Second place, Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. And first place goes to number 1768, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations. If you're marking your catalogs in the International Red and White Show, there were eight age cows. Entry 2568 placed fourth, 2569 was fifth, entry 2570 was sixth, entry 2571 did not show, 2572 was second in the class, Ms. Apple's Alita Red, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins of Chilliwack, British Columbia, entry 2573 was eighth, 2574 did not show, entry 2575 was seventh, 2576 was third in the class and won the Bread Known Award. Crazy Four contender Dasha Red, exhibited by Kenny Capini of Tillamook, Oregon. An entry, added entry 2676 was the class winner. She won the Best Outer Award and the Production Award. Miss Apple Aria Red, exhibited by Stephen and Patrick Maddox and Tyler Dickruff of Riverdale, California. Now in the ring in the International Red and White Show is our Lifetime Production Cow class. These cows have all produced over 125,000 pounds of milk. First place award is presented by One Bell Dairy Farms, Dan Wonders of Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Production award by Prairie Farms Dairy, Best Utter Rosette by The Cattle Connection, and the Junior Award is presented by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois. And now in the show ring for the International Guernsey Show. The 
exhibitors' herds of five. The first place award is presented by the American Guernsey Association, and the Peer Challenge Trophy is presented annually in memory of Frank S. Peer. And folks, it looks like Judge Johnson is ready to announce the winners of the Exhibitors Herd class for the Guernsey Show. Judge Seth, down to you. Well, four exceptional Exhibitors Herds here, uh, and I think uh, the, even the fourth one could withstand quite a lot of competition. They, all these groups have animals that uh, placed really high today for us and yesterday. But this first group has got... Uh, Three class winners in it, uh, well, four class winners, and the one that didn't win her class was reserve junior champion. That makes it uh, pretty tough to beat. So they've got the, the uh, uniformity of mammary systems and certainly that heifer power to come to the top of this class pretty handily. Uh, the next group, uh, great uttered cows and two exceptional heifers as well. Um, and uh, that, I th the quality in the heifers uh, down on the end in this second group is kind of what gives them the edge over this third group that has uh, three really uniform uh, young cows that you really appreciate and, and two quality silky heifers. Just a little more dairy quality, a little more clean cut, uh, and a little more rear udder power on this third group over the fourth group, but four exceptional exhibitors herds. Congratulations. So once again, the winners of the Exhibitors Herd class for the International Guernsey Show for 2019. Third place goes to entry 1776 Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. Second place to 1774 Land at Knapp of Epworth, Iowa. And first place to 1775 Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations. On deck next for the International Currency Show is Class 555, the Produce of Dam. The first place award for this class is presented by the American Guernsey Association.
If you turn your attention to the international red and white show ring, Judge Black has completed his placings in our lifetime production cow class. Again, these cows have all produced over 125,000 pounds of milk. There were no juniors in the class, but we'd like to recognize our bred and own winner and production winner. She's the same cow, entry 2580. Rosedale rumor has it read, exhibit by Rosedale Genetics, Mitchell and Hockett of Oxford, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class is entry 2583, Ms. D. Apple Danielle Red, exhibited by Midas Touch and King's Ransom Farm of Schuylerville, New York. Second in the class is added entry 2669, Ms. Apple Snapple Red, exhibited by Milk Source of Kakana, Wisconsin. And winning the class is entry 2582. She's also the best udder in the class. Meadow Green Abso Fanny Red, exhibited by Triple T Holsteins, TNL Cattle, Barry, Frank and Diane Borba, and Frank and Carol Borba of North Lewisburg, Ohio. Congratulations. Jamie, your comments on the class. Let's keep that going a little bit longer. Look at these five cows, five production cows, five cows that certainly stood the test of time. Exceptional cows from top to bottom. But our cow winning the class does so easily for us. A cow with six calves, a cow with a tremendous mammary system. But a cow that has an advantage over the cow in second, she's just snugger of that four at her attachment. We prefer the way it blends into her body wall. She's stronger of her loin, prefer that slope from her hips to her pins than this beautiful cow coming out in second. The second place cow over the cow in third, a cow that has an advantage in the way she moves around the ring a little more comfortably. I just prefer the feet and legs in this cow, prefer the set to her rear leg and the way she tracks out a little square on those hind legs today than this 10-year-old cow coming out here in third. The third place cow over the cow in fourth, cow does so with the big advantage in her mammary system. There's more height, more width to that rear rudder today than another well-balanced cow coming out in fourth. Fourth place cow over the cow in fifth. The cow just level her from on the floor of her rudder, level her from one side of her rudder to the other. But f five beautiful, beautiful cows. Congratulations. If you're marking your catalogs along with us, we had five lifetime production cows. Place 27, 2577 was fifth, 2578 and 2579 did not show. Entry 2580 placed fourth in the class, won the bread known in the production award. Rosedale Rumor Has It Read, exhibited by Rosedale Genetics, Mitchell and Hockett of Oxford, Wisconsin. Entry 2581 did not show. Entry 2582 was your class winner and the best daughter. Metal Green Abso Fanny Red, exhibited by Triple T Holsteins, TNL Cattle, Mike Berry, Frank and Diane Borba, and Frank and Carol Borba of North Lewisburg, Ohio. Entry 2583 was third. Ms. D. Apple Danielle Red, exhibited by Midas Touch and King's Ransom Farm, Schuylerville, New York. Entry 2584 did not show. Added entry 2669 was second in the class, Miss Apple Snapple Red, exhibited by Milk Source of Kakana, the Wisconsin. If you keep your attention on our international red and white show ring, cow that just won the Bread Noden and Production Awards from that class, entry 2580. Rosedale Rumor Has It Red, exhibited by Rosedale Genetics, Matt Mitchell and Mitch Hockett of Oxford, Wisconsin is our NASCO International Type and Production Award winner, presented by NASCO of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. This award recognizes the cow that combines incredibly high type with incredibly high production and a very prestigious award for each breed show. Congratulations. Now in the ring in the International Red and White Show is our Senior Best Three Females class. The first place award is presented by Oakfield Corners Dairy, Jonathan and Alicia Lamb, Oakfield, New York.
And folks, it looks like Judge Johnson is ready to name the winners of the Produce of Dam class for the Guernsey Show. Judge Seth, please. Well, quite a lineup of uh, Produce of Dams here. And uh, uh, we, we evaluate these. You love to see two milking cows that can come to the show and compete. And that describes these first three groups here. Uh, this group that wins uh, that uh, cow that I believe placed third in that tremendous age cow class and uh, her sister that was uh, in the four-year-old class did real well in the junior show. They come to the top pretty handily for me. Just have an advantage in uh, angularity today. Just a little more bloom to them today. But take nothing away from this second group. Incredibly uniform cows. We, we looked at these cows earlier and said they looked like sisters or mother-daughter and in, indeed they are sisters. Powerful front ends. Just a little more uphill run. Just a little more front end power than this pair of uh, two-year-olds with the uh, fantastic mammary systems that come out in third here and of course they have the advantage over these next couple groups and having two milking females with fantastic udders but really love the um, mammary system on this uh, this cow that goes with the uh, goes with the really nice fall calf that follows out and and then take nothing away from these next few groups with cows that place very well and heifers that were really competitive yesterday so the results for the produce of dam class for the Guernsey show in third place was number 1786, Michaela Lepke of Cashton, Wisconsin. Second was Kevin Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. And our winner was number 1789, Spring Hill Farm of Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations. In the International Red and White Show Ring, Judge Black has completed his placings in our Senior Best Three Females class. Placing third in the class is entry 2586, Kale Hembury, Cherry Lore, Holsteins, Milmont, Pennsylvania. Second in the class is the entry from Andrew Stewie, number 2585, Flowerbrook Holsteins of Hamburg, Minnesota. And winning the class is the entry from Rosedale Genetics, Mark and Nikki Reith of Oxford, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Jamie, your comments on the class. Well, let's give all these breeders, all these three best or four best three female groups a big round of applause. Tremendous, tremendous groups all the way through. Cows that stood very well all the way through our show today, all the way through each group. But our group in first today uh, just has such an advantage in their maturity, such an advantage in their feet and legs today over this group in second. The group in second over the group in third, that's a closer placing, but our group in second, just the way prefer their feet and legs, prefer how comfortable they are when they move around the ring. Our group in third over the group in fourth, a very uniform group, and definitely has an advantage in their mammary systems today than this group here in fourth, but four tremendous groups. Thank you. If you're marking your catalogs with us in the International Red and White Show, we had four senior best three male groups. Reading the top, entry 2585 was second, the group from Flowerbrook Holsteins, Andrew Stewie of H Hamburg, Minnesota. 2586 was third, Cherry Laura Holsteins, Kale Hambury of Milmont, Pennsylvania. Entry 2587 did not show. Entry 2670, the group from Crescent Mead Holsteins, Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin, was fourth. Entry 2699 did not show, and an added entry from Rosedale Genetics, Mark and Nikki Re of Oxford, Wisconsin, was the class winner. Now in the ring, in the International Red and White Show, is our Produce of Dam class. The first place award here is presented by Soma Detect, Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. And currently in the ring for the Guernsey Show is the Dam and Daughter class. The first place award is presented by Feedworks USA Limited, Cincinnati, Ohio.
Okay, folks, Judge Johnson is ready to give us the winners of the Dam and Daughter class for the 2019 International Guernsey Show. Judge Seth, take it away. Well, a uh, really nice daughter dam class. Uh, and we, again, we love to have two cows in milk in this class, in these group classes. And, and this group that starts, uh, two fantastic uttered cows. And I, I think just a little more bloom in the memory again. Um, just uh, two cows that really have youthful mammary systems that really come to the top quite handily for me today. I do really admire the second group as well. I think uh, we've got uh, some utter attachment and progress made on the daughter. You love that uphill run on that young cow, and I think that uh, they fit quite handily into that second place uh, over some of these groups that have to rely on a cow and the heifer. But uh, you, that third group, you, we love that cow, the openness of rib on the cow, and, and we really... Uh, quite like that heifer last night as well. She placed quite high in her class. And, and that uniformity and the strength and the depth of rib in particular on the heifer gets them into that third spot over this group uh, with a very nice square, good uttered cow with a fancy heifer that goes with her. Congratulations. So the winners of the dam and daughter class for the International Guernsey Show. Third place went to entry 2647, Beth Clark of New Paris, Pennsylvania. Second goes to Kevin Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Grove, Illinois. And first place goes to Landon Knapp of Epworth, Iowa. Congratulations. Up next for the International Guernsey Show will be the contestants for Senior Champion Female and Reserve Senior Champion Female of the Guernsey Show. The James Crowley Senior, Senior Champion Award is presented by Corrective Hoof Trimming, Fredericksburg, Pennsylvania, and the Champion Band and Rosetta presented by Genovations of Lodi, Wisconsin. The Reserve Senior Champion Female Award is presented by Snyder Homestead Farm, Brad and Bernetta Gable and Family, New Enterprise, Pennsylvania, and the Reserve Champion Banner presented by Genovations, Lodi, Wisconsin, while the Rosette is presented by Rivendale Farms, Bulger, Pennsylvania. This time I'd like to introduce, introduce our contestants for Senior Champion Female of the Guernsey Show. Our four-year-old cows, 1742, Valley Gem Atlas Malt by Valley Gem Farms of Cumberland, Wisconsin, and number 1740, Knapp Spider Bank on Me, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Our five-year-olds, 1753, Knapp's Top Notch Harlow, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. And 1749, Misty Meadow Rebel Suite, Beth Clark, New Paris, Pennsylvania. Our six year olds and older, 1756, Willowbrook, LeBron Tony, Matthew, and Wesley Aiken of West Middlesex, Pennsylvania. And 1761, South Lane King James Logic, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Good luck, everybody. You turn your attention to the International Red and White Show Ring. Judge Black has completed his placing in our Produce of Dam class. Seven beautiful groups out there. Placing third in the class is entry 2593. The entry from Holbrook Holsteins, Harvard, Illinois. Second in the class is entry 2590 from Kale Hembury of Milmont, Pennsylvania. And winning the class is the combined pairing from 
Stephen Pat Maddox and Tyler Dickroff, and Milk Source Genetics, I believe a pair of Apple daughters to win the class today. Jamie, your comments on our class. Again, another class with uh, quality groups from top to bottom. But our group in first, a uh, logical winner, a group that has an advantage in their maturity, their width to their memory systems over this young group here in second. The second group over the sec uh, group in third, a group that has an advantage again. They're a little snugger added, a little more, a little more uniform in their makeup than our group in third. Group in third over the group in fourth, just an advantage today in overall dariness. Group in fourth, or fifth over the group in sixth, excuse me. A uh, little more maturity, a little more uniformity today. Thank you. Now entering the ring in the International Red and White Show is our final group class of the day, the Dam and Daughter class. First place award in this class is presented by Crescent Mead of Exonia, Wisconsin. We'll then move into our selection of champion bread and owned of the shows, then senior and grand champion in the junior show and the open show. So this is our last group class for the International Red and White Show today.
If you turn your attention to the international red and white show ring, our judge has completed his placings in the dam and daughter class. Placing third in the class is entry 2604, the entry from Wayne DeBurr and Sunny Valley Holsteins. Second in the class is entry 2598, the dam and daughter pair from Grady and Lane Wendorf of Crescent Mead, Exonia, Wisconsin. And winning the class is entry 2597, the dam and daughter from Cherry Lore, Kale Hambury, Milmont, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Jamie, your comments on the class. Another great group class here, but our group in first, a handy winner, a group that has an advantage in their utter texture, utter quality, snugness of attachments. The group in second over the group in third, showing us a little more height and width to their udders. And the group in third over the group in fourth, just anchored by those two milking cows. Congratulations. And folks, it looks like Judges John Lance and Seth Johnson have completed their deliberations and are ready to announce the senior champion female. Go ahead, Judge. Well, it's been a tremendous uh, old, older cow class, uh, group of classes, and the two classes that are represented by the four cows in front of me were truly great classes of Guernsey cows. And I've got first and second age cow and first and second four-year-old out here in contention for senior champion. I'll say this is, the, this is the best four cows that I've ever had the privilege to line up and judge. There's things you love about all four of them. All four of them have tremendous mammary systems. I hope you can appreciate that. They're high and wide in that rear udder. They're snug in their four udder attachment. They're open ribbed cows. They're balanced cows that have strength and dariness and angularity. All four of these cows have the correct slope from hooks to pins and are so correct back through their rump structure. It comes down to splitting hairs, and I'm going to go out. I'll congratulate our senior champion, your reserve senior champion, and your honorable mention, and certainly show these great cows uh, the appreciation. This is a tremendous group of cows. These are great cows. And there's a reason that we come to World Dairy Expo to put the best against the very best. And you look at these two cows that I just used, and they're just tremendous cows. They're cows that have big, wide rear udders. They're cows that have had several calves. The udders are welded on. For me today, it comes down to this cow that wins is holding that seam a lot nicer right now at this point in the day. She's a little less quartered from front to back in that mammary system. She's a little longer and smoother in that four udder attachment today. In addition, the cow that is senior champion is the most comfortable on her legs today. She's stronger in her pasterns than the cow that is reserve. And I think she's the best foot and leg cow that we had out here in contention. She's a little silkier. She's got a lot more drop to that rib, a lot more openness of her fore rib today than the reserve cow, but take nothing away from this cow. What a whale of a rear udder in that reserve cow. It's high, it's wide. That udder is still welded on, and she's a magnificent Guernsey cow right from the tip of that beautiful head back to that monster rear udder. And for honorable mention, I followed with this second place four-year-old, a cow that I really did like in class. She wasn't going to run with that one that beat her, but she's running with the rest of them. She's got a beautiful mammary system. She's tall, she's long, she's hard top, and a cow that fits beautifully into that, reserve, that honorable mention spot. Congratulations to all the exhibitors. So our senior champion female of the 2019 International Guernsey Show is number 1742, Valley Gem Atlas Malt 
Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. Our reserve champion, 1756, Willowbrook, LeBron Tony, Matthew and Wesley Aiken, West Middlesex, Pennsylvania, with honorable mention going to 1740, Knapp Spider, Bank on Me, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Congratulations, everybody. In the International Red and White Show ring, in the ring at this time are those animals competing for champion bread and owned of the Junior Show. Champion bread and owned cow here wins an award presented by Crescent Mead of Exonia, Wisconsin. We'd like to introduce those cows that came back to the ring to compete for this um, very prestigious breeder award. These animals are all bred and owned by our junior members of the Red and White Dairy Cattle Association. We have out there entry 2471, our junior two-year-old cow, Karakash RK Arjem Red, exhibited by Curtis, Evelyn, and Agnes Griffin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Our bread known award winner in the senior two-year-old cow class was entry 2479, Ladino Dale Avalon Elena Red, exhibited by Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst of Hartford, Wisconsin. The award winner in our junior three-year-old cow class was entry 2507, Mead Manor Deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. And our junior bread and own award winner in our five-year-old cow class was entry 2556, Zareview Absolute High Time Red, exhibited by Rosalie Zare of Grayman, Illinois. Jamie, I know you've had a chance to look them over, and when you're ready, let's have your selection of champion, bread and owned of the junior show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we won't take up much of your time. We'll just do it from here. The champion, bread and owned of the junior show will be this junior three-year-old. She's a beautiful, beautiful young cow. Congratulations. Congratulations to the... Champion bread known of the 2019 International Red and White Junior Show. She's our winning junior three-year-old. Entry 2507, Mead Manor, Deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Now entering the ring are those animals competing for champion bread and owned of the open show. Champion here wins an award presented by Lucky Holsteins of Hampshire, Illinois. We also want to recognize all day that the bread known class and champion rosettes were presented by the Red and White Dairy Cattle Association. And folks, at this time for the Guernsey Show, we're ready to name the best uttered cow. This award is presented by the American Guernsey Association and Meadow Lodge Farm Trophy is presented in memory of Judge Samuel W. Hayes of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma by his son, Kent B. Hayes. Judges, proceed. Well, this is, this is the class for best utter of the Guernsey show and, and uh, my good friend, Steve Sievert, your breed superintendent is super thrilled with me that we had to do this class. But what's right is right. And this second place junior three-year-old is going to be the best utter of the show. Or third place junior three-year-old. I'm sorry. That's what complicated things. She'll be your best utter of the show. She doesn't have the wheels to get up higher in her class or to compete higher for higher honors. But that utter is welded on. It's high. It's wide. It's still got a great seam. And it's a little longer than, than our senior champion cow in that four utter. And that's what gives her that advantage. Congratulations.
And folks, once again, would like to announce the winner of the award for the Best Daughtered Cow for the 2019 International Guernsey Show. It's entry number 1723, Milbourne HP Alamo Finally, Finally Syndicate, Granby, Connecticut. Congratulations. This time in the International Red and White Show Ring, we are selecting our champion bread known of the Open Show. I'd like to introduce and acknowledge those animals and their exhibitors that were bread known in today's show. Bread known award winner in our yearling and milk class was entry 2435, Blondin Avalanche Darlene, exhibited by Fair and Blondin, Blondin Sires of Saint-Placide, Saint Quebec. Bread known winner in the summer junior two-year-old cow class was entry 2462, Flower Brook Diamond Red, exhibited by Andrew Stewie of Hamburg, Minnesota. The award winner in our junior two-year-old cow class was entry 2471, Karakesh RK RJAM Red, exhibited by Curtis, Evelyn, and Agnes Griffin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Our bread note award winner in our senior two-year-old cow class was entry 2483, Ruan D.B. Shar 60985 Red, exhibited by Stephen and Patrick Maddox of Riverdale, California. Bread known award winner in our junior three-year-old cow class was entry 2507, Mead Manor Deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Bread known award winner in our senior three-year-old cow class was entry 2522, Linehan Prin Fahrenheit Red, exhibited by Matt Linehan of Hillsdale, New York. The award winner in our four-year-old class was entry 2540, Flower Brook Gladys Red, exhibited by Andrew Stewie of Hamburg, Minnesota. Bread known award winner in the five-year-old class was entry 2553, Cherry Lore Lad Ripple Red, exhibited by Matthew Boop and Cale Hembury of Millmont, Pennsylvania. Bread note award winner in our age cow class was entry 25. 76, Crazy Four Contend Dasha Red, exhibited by Kenny Copini of Tillamook, Oregon. And finally, our Bread Known Award winner, our Lifetime Production class, was entry 2580, Rosedale Rumor Has It Red, exhibited by Rosedale Genetics, Matt Mitchell, and Mitch Hockett of Oxford, Wisconsin. These breeder-owned cows did very, very well and stood very high all day. Let's give the breeders of these tremendous cows a big round of applause. And Jamie, when you're ready for selection of champion bred and owned, the floor is yours. Again, we won't take up much of your time. We'll do it right from here. This junior three-year-old will be the best bred and owned cow of your show. Congratulations. And congratulations to the champion bred and owned cow of the 2019 International Red and White Show. She's our winning junior three-year-old, and she's taken a lot of hardware today. Entry 2507, Mead Manor Deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Now entering the ring in the International Red and White Show are those animals competing for senior champion female of the junior show. The senior champion female wins an award presented by Crescent Mead of Ixonia, Wisconsin, a champion banner presented by Genovations of Lodi, Wisconsin, and a rosette presented by Doug and Little Hodorf of Eden, Wisconsin. The reserve senior champion of the junior show wins an award presented by Golden Oaks Farm of Wakanda, Illinois, the Reserve Champion Banner, presented by Genovations, and a rosette, presented by Doug and Linda Hodorf. And at this time, we'd like to announce a couple awards for the International Guernsey Show. First of all, our Premier Breeder Award. The Royal Banner for this award is presented by We Cover Structures of Thamesville, Ontario, Canada. And the Gordon Hall Memorial Trophy is presented in memory of their father, Gordon Hall, by Molly Hall and Mrs. Mona Fisher of Princeton, New Jersey. 
And our premier breeder for the 2019 International Currency Show is Spring Hill Farms of Big Prairie, Ohio. Congratulations. Our premier exhibitor, Royal Banner Award, is presented by Select Sires of Plain City, Ohio. And the Gordon Hall Memorial Trophy is presented in memory of their father, Gordon Hall, by Molly Hall and Mrs. Mona Fisher of Princeton, New Jersey. The premier exhibitor for the 2019 International Guernsey Show is Naps Genetics of Epworth, Iowa. Congratulations. Folks, one more announcement for the International Guernsey Show. We'd like to award our premier sire. That award is presented in memory of Ted Kruger by the National Dairy Shrine of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. And our premier sire for the 2019 International Guernsey Show is Jens Gold Copper. Congratulations. If you turn your attention to the International Red and White Show ring, compete, those animals in the ring right now are competing for our senior champion female of the junior show. We'd like to introduce those animals quickly before Jamie makes his selection. First place junior in our four-year-old cow class was entry 2543, Longbrook Ab Sweetie Red, exhibited by Victoria Clark of Springville, Pennsylvania. Second junior in that class was entry 2533, Holbrook Spa Chisel Red, exhibited by Elena and Peyton Olbrich and Megan Ford of Harvard, Illinois. First place junior in our five-year-old cow class was entry 2553, Cherry Lore Lad Ripple Red, exhibited by Matthew Boop and Hale, Kale Hambury of Milmont, Pennsylvania. Second junior in that class was entry 2556, Zareview Absolute High Time Red, exhibited by Rosalie Zare of Graymond, Illinois. Jamie, we had a limited number of junior owned animals, but it's a beautiful group of cows out there. When you're ready for your selection of senior champion of the junior show, we'd be very interested to hear your choice. Certainly is three really nice cows, Kathleen, and we won't keep, it, keep you too much longer. Pat's going to go out and select a senior champion and a reserve, an honorable mention in that order, and we'll give our reasons to follow. The first prize five-year-old will be your senior champion, a cow, a tremendously balanced cow, a cow that has an advantage in utter quality and utter texture over our reserve champion in this first prize four-year-old. The four-year-old over the second prize five-year-old, she's got more height, more width to that rear udder. She's stronger over loin, prefer that slope from her hips to her pins today. Congratulations to everybody involved. Congratulations to the senior champion of the International Red and White Junior Show, She's our winning five-year-old entry, 2553, Cherry Lore Lad Ripple Red, exhibited by Matthew Boop and Cale Hambury of Milmont, Pennsylvania. Our reserve senior champion of the junior show comes from the four-year-old class, entry 2543, Longbrook Ab Sweetie Red, exhibited by Victoria Clark of Springville, Pennsylvania. And our honorable mention senior champion is our second place junior in the five-year-old class, entry 25. 56, Zareview, Absolute High Time Red, exhibited by Rosalie Zare of Grayman, Illinois. Congratulations. And folks, it looks like Judge Johnson is ready to name the grand champion female of the 2019 International Guernsey Show. We thank Judge Lance, Judges Lance and Johnson for their work today, and we look forward to hearing the results. Take it away, Judge. 
I don't mind. I don't mind waiting to if I get to stand behind these four rear udders, these two tremendous cows, and this great total performance, two tremendous heifers, and this great total performance cow. Uh, there's some awesome, awesome Guernsey cows right in front of me right now, and uh, it's just been a it's been a true pleasure to judge this show. I do want to say a couple thank yous uh, before I go out and congratulate a couple of exhibitors. First one is to my associate John Lantz. He's the toughest guy I know. For years and years, we showed cows together at the Minnesota State Fair. He'd enter a few. I'd go up and make sure we brought at least 12 or so to make sure that the breed, that people could see good uttered cows that knew how to work, and that's the kind that he breeds, that's going to bred. That's the kind that, we, that I hope that we pick today. But thank you, John, for being out here. John had some good ideas that didn't work out and some good ideas that did, and hopefully it all came out in the end. I also want to sh thank uh, probably better than half my families up in the stands, and only a couple of them have ever been to World Dairy Expo before. I stepped foot on the colored shavings here in 1994 for the first time when I judged uh, in, in the college judging contest and have made just about every expo since then. There was a time when I thought that you couldn't be anywhere but here this week, and I'm sure glad that I'm here this week. It's, it's been 25 years since the first time I walked into this Coliseum, and it's awe-inspiring. The best cattle in the world are here. But I want to thank my family for coming, my dad, my mom, my stepfather up there, my twin sister Liz, and her family. They actually show Guernseys. Peer pressure is a powerful thing. And my nephew Keenan is up there, and my good friend Sarah. And my kids that got to do showmanship last night, so they got to, I'm too cheap to send an animal out here, so they had to. They got to do showmanship last night, and I want to thank the, the non-Guernsey exhibitors that provided them with heifers uh, so they could experience that last night. It was great. They got back really late, which leads me to another thank you to my wife, Shannon, for doing showmanship duty last night. Like, seriously, that goes late. <clears throat> Shannon married me. She knew what the deal was with, with cows. She knew that we were going to show cows and raise cows. Chickens kind of threw her for a loop, but she's rolled with it. This is her first trip to World Dairy Expo after all these years because, in her words, all I do is look at cows and talk to cow people. And that's what I like to do, and this has been an awesome experience to be able to do this from the center ring. I've sat in these chairs and mixed up exhibitor points and messed up total performance points and tried to order, organize plaques for 18 years with the American Guernsey Association. I always thought it was the best seat in the house right there. It's comfortable over there, right, Barb? But standing in the middle of the ring and getting to make some of these decisions, some of these classes were just uh, the toughest, certainly the toughest decisions I've ever had to make, but some great cows didn't win, some great heifers didn't win, but it was an incredible show. And just before I go out, I want to I got to this point, um, I didn't grow up with Guernseys, but I love Guernseys now, and there's some groups, some organizations that have helped me get to this point. The first one is the Southern Rhode Island 4-H Dairy Club back in Rhode Island. I used to stand second to last in showmanship and then go cry in the woods when I was done. But I kept going anyway. And then I went to to Virginia Tech and was part of the Virginia Tech Dairy Club and all that it has to offer. And that may be the most uh, impact, one of the most impactful things that I ever did was to be part of that and to the people I met during that time at Virginia Tech are, are out here showing, they're in, the, they're in the crowd here and that was a tremendous opportunity for me. But the most impactful organization I've ever been a part of is certainly the American Guernsey Association. For 18 years, I worked for the association. I couldn't think that there was anything better to be on the road looking at cows, helping buy and sell cows, classifying cows. It was the most um, awe-inspiring experience, uh, certainly uh, as a young person. They just, uh, Neil Jensen had the, I don't know if it was smart or not, but he hired me straight out of school and sent me on the road to score cows. Sorry for those first couple months, guys. But 
it was a tremendous experience, and I, I can't thank the members of the American Guernsey Association enough for all those years, and now for uh, deciding to have me come out and place your cattle at the greatest dairy show that there is. And with that being said, I'm going to go out, I'm going to shake the hand of the leads person of the Grand Champion Cow, followed by the Reserve and your honorable mention, and certainly show them your appreciation for the level of quality we've had today. Well, that's this pair of cows, this four-year-old and this aged cow are just lights out for us. It's been a tremendous show. There's been great cows up and down the line, great udders up and down the line. It's so enjoyable when you've got, when the winner walks in the ring and you know you've got that winner. And when this four-year-old came in, we knew it. When this aged cow came in, that was a hell of a class, but we knew it as soon as we got behind her. And those two cows just rise to the top for me. This four-year-old, she's so silky. She's got a beautiful udder. She's holding that seam still. She's smoother on the udder floor than the aged cow as she moves around right now. And to me, the big thing about that four-year-old is she is so comfortable on those feet and legs today. She moves beautifully. She's sure-footed. She's strong on that pastern. And that's what I just love about her. She's so balanced and so comfortable. Take nothing away from this aged cow. She has got the substance. She's got the strength. She's got that wide muzzle, that powerful front end. And you get behind this cow, she's so wide back through that rump, wide through the pins, and it carries right down to that magnificent rear udder that she does have. Two tremendous cows. And I followed for honorable mention with this junior three-year-old. She's got a bright future. She's got a well-attached mammary system. She's got that uphill run, that style and a cow that I think uh, will do great things down the road. Congratulations. Tremendous Guernsey show today. Once again, congratulations to our grand champion female of the 2019 International Guernsey Show, number 1742, Valley Gem Atlas, Malt Valley Gem Farms, Cumberland, Wisconsin. Our reserve champion is 1756, Willowbrook, LeBron, Tony, Matthew and Wesley Aiken, Middlesex, Pennsylvania, with honorable mention going to 1721, H. Broke, Levi, Tate, Spring Hill Farms, Big Prairie, Ohio. Great job, everybody. And now returning to the International Red and White Show, those animals in the ring are competing for our grand champion of our junior show, the grand champion female wins the Lillian and Keith King and Jim King Grand Champion of the Junior Show Award presented by Kingsdale Farms of Victoria, Illinois. She also wins a $500 Utter Comfort Grand Champion Award presented by Utter Comfort of Williamsburg, Ontario. The Grand Champion Trophy presented by World Dairy Expo. Champion Banner presented by Select Sires. And the Rosette presented by Doug and Little Hodorf of Eden, Wisconsin. The Reserve Grand Champion Female of the Junior Show wins an award presented by Oakfield Corners Dairy, Jonathan and Alicia Lamb of Oakfield, New York, the Lillian and Keith King and Jim King Reserve Grand Champion of the Junior Show Award, presented by Kingsdale Farms of Victoria, Illinois, Reserve Champion Banner, presented by Select Sires, and a rosette, presented by Doug and Linda Hodorf. We certainly want to introduce these animals. These juniors have done an amazing job for two days. Their animals have been very, very at the very highest levels of this high quality show. We want to recognize them at this time. From yesterday's heifer show, our junior champion was our winning fall calf, entry 2324, Milk Source Thunder Red, exhibited by Molly Oldstad and Tristan Ostrom of Stoughton, Wisconsin. Our reserve junior champion was our winter yearling heifer, entry 2416, Nonadale Light My Fire Red, exhibited by Kayla Stoltzfus of East Earl, Pennsylvania. 
From our cow classes, our intermediate champion from earlier today was our winning junior three-year-old cow, entry 2507, Mead Manor, Deaf Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Our reserve intermediate champion was our junior two-year-old cow, entry 2471, Karakesh RK. Our Jam Red, exhibited by Curtis, Evelyn, and Agnes Griffin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. And just recently, we named our senior champions of the junior show. Our senior champion was our five-year-old cow, entry 2553, Cherry Lore Lad Ripple Red, exhibited by Matthew Boop and Kale Hembury of Millmont, Pennsylvania. Our reserve senior champion was our winning four-year-old cow, entry 2543, Longbrook Ab Sweetie Red, exhibited by Victoria Clark of Springville, Pennsylvania. Jamie, you've been patient, and now we're all getting a little impatient to hear your selection of grand champion female of the junior show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's give these youth and all the youth that participated in the show today a huge round of applause. The group of cattle they brought back out here, the way this group have been presented, it's extremely impressive for me and Pat. I'm not going to talk too much again. I'm going to let Pat go out and select your grand champion, reserve an honorable mention in that order of your junior show, and I'll give my reasons to follow. It's no secret we like this Junior 3, a cow that's extremely balanced, a cow that has a tremendous mammary system, and a cow that just outframes our reserve grand cow. She's just leveler in the floor of her udder and just so much more mass and width to her frame. Reserve over honorable mention, it's a little bit closer, but our five-year-old just showing us a little more maturity today than this beautiful Junior 2 with a bright, bright future. Congratulations. Congratulations to the grand champion of the 2019 International Red and White Junior Show. She's our intermediate champion and our winning junior three-year-old. Entry 2507, Mead Manor Deaf, Adeline Red, exhibited by Mike and Megan Mead of Algoma, Wisconsin. Our reserve grand champion female is our senior champion and our winning five-year-old, Cherry Laura Ladd, Ripple Red, exhibited by Matthew Boop and Kale Hembury of Millmont, Pennsylvania. Honorable mention grand champion goes to our reserve intermediate champion and our junior two-year-old cow, Karakesh RK, our gem red, exhibited by Curtis, Evelyn, and Agnes Griffin of Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Congratulations.
At this time, in the International Red and White Show Ring, we have those cows and exhibitors that are competing for Senior Champion Female. The Senior Champion Female wins the James Crowley Senior Senior Champion Award presented by Roger and Loretta Wright of New Windsor, Maryland. She also wins a Champion Banner and Rosette presented by Genovations of Lodi, Wisconsin. The Reserve Senior Champion Female wins an award presented by Eskdale Dairy, John Conrad of Eskdale, Utah. The Reserve Champion Banner presented by Genovations and a Rosette presented by Rivendale Farms of Bulger, Pennsylvania. Of course, we want to introduce these marvelous older cows that paraded in front of us this afternoon. There were 12 four-year-old cows exhibited. The winner was entry 2538, LME Armani Rascal Red, exhibited by Brock Little of Argyle, New York. Second in that class was entry 2535, Antia Absolute Jolene Red, exhibited by Milk Source and Fisher of Kakana, Wisconsin. There were 13 five-year-old cows exhibited. The winner was entry 2561, Highcroft Absolute Lily Red, exhibited by Glam Review, Jaeger and Walton, and Eaton Holsteins of Marietta, New York. Second in that class was entry 2551, Ms. AOL Contender Revive Red, exhibited by Fairholm, Wapsiana, and Triple S of Anamosa, Iowa. We had eight age cows today. The winner was number 2676, Miss Apple Aria Red, exhibited by Stephen and Patrick Maddox and Tyler Dickoff of Riverdale, California. Second in that class was entry 2572, Ms. Apple's Alita Red, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins of Chilliwack, British Columbia. And we had five lifetime production cows. The winner was entry 2582, Meadow Green Abso Fanny Red, exhibited by Triple T, TNL Cattle, Mike Berry, Frank and Diane Borba, and Frank and Carol Borba of North Lewisburg, Ohio. Second in that class was entry 2669, Miss Apple Snapple Red, exhibited by Milk Source of Kakana, Wisconsin. We can all admire this kind of cow power. Any of us that have put a milker on a cow can respect the longevity and the beautiful, beautiful frames of these older cows. Let's give these exhibitors and these cows a big round of applause. And as our final cows move into line here, Jamie, I know we have all heard the phrase cow power over and over and over in our business, but I think this group really sums it up. We'll love to hear your selection of senior champion of our show when you're ready, followed by your reasons. Yes, Kathleen, this is quite a group of cows, and we're not going to pull out any individuals because they all deserve to be recognized. But just one more time quick, if everybody in the audience could give these cows a big, big, big round of applause. What, what a group. I'm going to go out. I'm not going to talk about these cows again. We've talked about them plenty today. We're going to talk about them a little bit more in a minute. But I'm going to go out and have one last look, select your senior champion, reserve senior champion, an honorable mention in that order, and I'll give my reasons to follow. But when I do, again, congratulate them with a huge round of applause.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, three awesome cows. But when we get behind these cows, our five-year-old's rear udder, her fore udder, just overwhelms the rest of the group. She's higher, wider, got unbelievable texture. She's deeper of her crease. I prefer the way her teats are placed squarely under her, a little more squarely under her udder than our first prize production cow. Production cow over our four-year-old, just a few more calves, a little more maturity. A cow that you got to give, give her credit where it's due. A cow that's had lots of calves, put lots of milk through that mammary system, and it is that with that dairiness overall to carry her over our four-year-old for honorable mention. A beautiful, balanced, no-holes cow. Congratulations. Congratulations to the senior champion of the 2019 International Red and White Show. She's our winning five-year-old, entry 2561, Highcroft Absolute Lily Red, exhibited by Glamour View, Jaeger and Walton, and Eaton Holsteins of Marietta, New York. Our reserved senior champion is our lifetime production cow, Meadow Green Abso Fanny Red, exhibited by Triple T, TNL Cattle, Mike Berry, Frank and Diane Bobra, and Frank and Carol Borba of North Lewisburg, Ohio. And our Albo Mention Senior Champion is our first place four year old, LME Armani Rascal Red, exhibited by Brock Little of Argyle, New York. Congratulations. <laughs> And as those animals enter the ring to compete for grand champion of the show, we want to take this time to announce some very special awards for the show. First of all, our premier breeder of the show, placing second in the premier breeder competition, is the group from Flowerbrook Holsteins in Andy Stewie of Hamburg, Minnesota. And winning the Premier Breeder Award with those powerful Apple Daughters is the Apple Partners. Congratulations. Our Premier exhib Exhibitor of the show, placing second, again is the group from Flowerbrook Holsteins, Andy Stewie of Hamburg, Minnesota. And winning the Premier Exhibitor banner for our International Red and White Show is the group from Crescent Mead, Grady and Laid Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Again, congratulations. The Premier Breeder won a royal banner presented by We Cover Structures of Thamesville, Ontario, and the Premier Exhibitor banner is presented by Select Sires of Plain City, Ohio. We'd now like to announce the winner of the Premier Sire banner, this is an award presented in memory of Ted Kruger by the National Dairy Shrine, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Second in the Premier Sire race was Mr. D. Apple Diamondback, 282 points. And winning the Premier Sire banner is Apple's Absolute Red with 290 points. Again, congratulations. Our last banner to present for the day is our state herd. The state herd banner and individual banners are presented by Master's Choice Hybrids of Anna, Illinois. Placing third in the state herd competition is the group of red and white animals from Quebec. Second in state herd competition are those breeders and animals from Minnesota. And winning the state herd banner are those red and white animals from the red and white state of Wisconsin. Congratulations. And at, this time, at this time, we'd like to announce those animals in the middle of the ring, competing for a grand champion of the 2019 International Red and White Show. For those of you that missed the Heifer Show yesterday or need a little refresher, again, it's our junior champion, was our winning fall heifer calf, entry 2324, Milk Source Thunder Red, exhibited by Molly Olstad and Tristan Ostrom of Stoughton, Wisconsin. Our reserve junior champion was our winning winter yearling, Nonadale Light My Fire Red, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins of Chilliwack, British Columbia. Our intermediate champion from earlier today was our winning junior two-year-old cow, Weberlack Tickle Me Red, exhibited by 
Farron Blondin, Phillips and Wolf of Saint Placide, Quebec. Our reserve intermediate champion was our winning senior two-year-old cow, entry 2484, Ms. Awesome Atomic Red, exhibit I, Dobriner, Bowen, and Schilling of West Salem, Ohio. Those cows we just saw named senior champion. Our senior champion is our winning five-year cow, Highcroft Absolute Lily Red, exhibited by Glam Review, Jaeger and Walton, and Eaton Holsteins of Marietta, New York. Our reserve senior champion was our winning production cow, Metal Green Abso Fanny Red, exhibited by Triple T, TNL Cattle, Mike Berry, Frank and Carol Borba, and Frank and Diane Borba of North Lewisburg, Ohio. This time we certainly have to acknowledge those award sponsors for our grand champions. The grand champion female wins the Alan Hetz Award Grand Champion Trophy presented by World Dairy Expo. The $1,000 Utter Comfort Grand Champion Award presented by Utter Comfort of Williamsburg, Ontario. A champion banner presented by Select Sires and a rosette presented by Genovations. The Reserve Grand Champion Female wins an award by Double S Liquid Feed Services of Danville, Illinois. The Reserve Champion Banner presented by Select Sires and the Rosette presented by Rivendell Farms of Bulger, Pennsylvania. Our Grand Champion will also be our Best Uttered Cow of the Show and she'll win an award presented by Tim Baumgartner of Tulare, California. Jamie, that's a lot of talking. But now it's time for you. I know you want to say a few words, and then we'll be extremely excited to hear your selection of Grand Champion of our 2019 International Red and White Show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to talk terribly, terribly long. I have a couple friends that are getting ready. I'm sure they're quite anxious to start uh, judging the black and white heifer show here, if uh, it's any indication to how Pat and I felt yesterday. Before we go any further, I want to thank World Dairy Expo, all the volunteers, everybody involved in this show. This show, we hear it every time. Everybody gives a speech at the end, how the show is second to none. It's the best show in the world, and there is no exception whatsoever. This is by far the best show in the world. Let's, uh, let's give World Dairy Expo a big, big round of applause. I want to thank the breeders, the exhibitors, the people that take care of these cows every day, the people that take care of these cows while they're here at the show. They all deserve a huge, huge round of applause. They don't always get the most recognition, but certainly people that deserve a huge round of applause. I want to thank my family. My family, none of them are here today. They're out. I'm sure they're all at home watching. Uh, they've been a big part of everything I do. They've always supported me. They've been huge since the time I was little. We're, our family's really not from, we actually were from town. So uh, this love and cows thing is, uh, my mom maybe didn't always understand it, but uh, it didn't, didn't matter. She always stood behind everything, uh, everything we did. I want to thank her. When I, when I first moved to New York, I uh, met lots of people. Uh, this young man to my left, my associate, he's gave me a, been very helpful the last day, two days. Tremendous young man, a very talented young man, a young man that uh, everything he does, he does it great, and he does it with a smile on his face. He's probably one of the most personable guys you'll find. He might hold you up a little bit, to, uh, shaking hands and kissing babies. But a tremendous, tremendous young man. I want to thank him for all of his help in the last two days, and I want to thank him for being my friend. I want to thank somebody else that's been our chauffeur all week, kind of kept us on time. Jenna, thank you very much. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. We're here to look at the cows and have a cow show. I'm going to go out, have one last look. Select your grand reserve and honorable mention in that order, and I'll give my reasons to follow, but give him one more big round of applause, and thank you very much. I, Pat and I have both had a blast today.
We had a great quality all day yesterday. We had great quality in our young cow through our senior show cows. But when you have senior champions like this pair, it's pretty logical. This five-year-old for your grand, her udder's incredible. She's got that extreme width. Her teats are placed so nicely on her. She's still holding her crease really well. And a cow that's just got such, such more, so much more udder quality and udder texture than our production cow here for reserve. Reserve over honorable mention. A cow just showing us so much more maturity today than this beautiful, beautiful young cow with a huge, huge future. Congratulations and thanks again. Congratulations to the grand champion of the 2019 International Red and White Show. We just saw her name senior champion. She's our winning five-year-old, Highcroft, Absolute Lily Red, exhibited by Glamour View, Jaeger and Walton, and Eaton Holsteins of Marietta, New York. Our reserve grand champion is our reserve senior champion and our winning lifetime production cow, Meadow Green Abso Fanny Red, exhibited by Triple T, TNL Cattle, Mike Berry, Frank and Carol Borba and Frank and Diane Borba of North Lewisburg, Ohio. And our honorable mention grand champion is our intermediate champion and winning junior two-year-old, Weber Lack, Tickle Me Red, exhibit by Fram Blondin, Phillips and Wolf of Saint Placide, Quebec. Congratulations. That concludes the 2019 International Red and White Show. Thank you for watching here in person and online at home, and we'll see you next year. Welcome to the 53rd World Dairy Expo, home to your tools for dairy's progress. We are looking forward to sharing memories on the colored shavings and education in the trade show all week long with you here in Madison, as well as with our friends tuning in on Expo TV around the globe. As you interact with fellow dairy producers, engage with leading industry experts, and meet the future of dairy, we hope your passion for the industry we love and the community we create is reinvigorated and revitalized. Welcome again and enjoy your expo experience. Hi, I'm Abigail Martin, Wisconsin's 72nd Alice in Dairyland, and I'm pleased to welcome you to World Dairy Expo 2019. This week we will share, sharpen, and collect the tools needed for dairy's progress as industry experts and dairy enthusiasts from across the state and around the globe come together for this special event. This week, Wisconsin is not only America's dairy land, but the globe's as we host World Dairy Expo. We welcome you, dairy producers and industry experts, to our great state. And we look forward to sharing our tradition of award-winning cheeses, beautiful cows, and new and innovative dairy products. Enjoy your stay on Wisconsin. Welcome to World Dairy Expo and Wisconsin. For the 53rd year, America's Dairyland is honored to serve as the meeting place for the global dairy industry as dairy producers and experts gather to stay connected and informed about the ever-changing worldwide dairy industry. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to our state and to share with you the energy and excitement of an industry near and dear to all of us in Wisconsin. It's now time to collect your tools for dairy's progress. So sit back and enjoy the show as farmers, agribusinesses, and researchers showcase their innovative technology and world-class dairy cattle. And don't forget to tune in again on Saturday afternoon as the lights are dimmed here in the Coliseum for the selection of the World Dairy Expo's Supreme Champion.
At ST Genetics, we believe genetics is an investment to build a successful future. That's why we bring the most innovative products to your farm to provide solutions for your dairy. Work with our team today and establish the right strategy to achieve your goals. ST Genetics, the best way to predict the future is to create it.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2019 International Holstein Show. My name is Brenda Lee from CMEX, and I'm assisted by Sonda Bransel of Compeer Financial. We're pleased to introduce the first class of the day, the Spring Heifer Calves. The first place award is presented by International Protein Sires of Rock Springs, Wisconsin, and the Bread and Owned Award is presented by Jeans Diffusion, Verona, Wisconsin. Neck ribbons and medallions are presented today by Jetstream Genetics of Watertown, Wisconsin, and the Bread and Owned Class Winner Recognition Awards are presented by Holstein USA. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick announcement. If Sheila Annie Marshman of Oxford, New York could come up to the offices, we have a piece of your identification. Sheila Marshman, please come to the World Dairy Expo offices. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to direct your attention to the center of the ring for our special presentation by Corey Geiger of the Klusendorf Award. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Klusendorf Association, my name is Dave Sellner. What began as an effort to memorialize a great man following his untimely death has now transpired into one of the greatest show ring 
and North American dairy traditions. Named in memory of Arthur Klusendorf, considered the outstanding dairy cattle showman of his time, a beautiful silver trophy designed by Tiffany Jewelers was pre presented for the first time in 1937. All of the previous winners' names are engraved on that trophy, which is kept at the National Dairy Shrine Museum in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Former winners of the trophy choose a recipient each year at their annual meeting, which was held yesterday. The Klusendorf Association also has awarded $10,500 worth of scholarships last night to young dairy pe people. In a few minutes, we will learn who has joined this esteemed group. But first, we'd like to announce the 29th winner of the Klusendorf McKenzie Award in memory of Duncan McKenzie, the 1961 Klusendorf Award winner. This award is presented to a person who exemplifies all the basic principles of a potential Klusendorf recipient as to character, sportsmanship, ability, and endeavor. Above all, this, this person is the one who helps make the show successful regardless of ribbons won. While Arthur Klusendorf passed away well over eight decades ago, we have one of his relatives with us today. Ryan Klusendorf is the great nephew of Arthur Klusendorf. Ryan is active dairy producer here in Wisconsin. 20 of the 28 previous winners are here and we'd like to have you meet them now. In 1994, the winner was Gerald Coughlin of Peterborough, Ontario. He is followed by Mark Reith of Oxford, Wisconsin, who won the award in 1995. Next is Barry Potter, Marcellus, New York, the 1998 winner. Then Perry Fend, Osseo, Wisconsin, won the award in 1999. He is followed by Joel Keatsman of Wanakee, Wisconsin, the 2000 award winner. Pauline Moyer Schmidt of Delaware, Wisconsin, won the award in 2001. Next is Chris Hill of Thurmont, Maryland. The, two, the 2005 winner is Eddie Bew, who hails from Kakana, Wisconsin, and Eddie judged the International Junior Show earlier this week. In 2007, the winner was Delbert Yoder of West Salem, Ohio. Followed by the 2008 winner, Chris Reichert of New Paris, Pennsylvania. The 2009 recipient was Thomas Moss McCauley of Lowell, Michigan followed by Nikki Reith of Oxford, Wisconsin, the 2010 winner. 2011 winner is Brent Yaron of Johnstown, New York. He is followed by Jack Ross of Lowville, New York, who won in 2012. Then Richard Calverly of Benton, Maine, who won in 2013, followed by John Galgowski of River Falls, Wisconsin, winning the award in 2014. And then Timothy Kuhn of Armenia, New York, who won in 2016. Dale and Deanna Bendig of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania won the award next. Then comes Paul Petrifer of Wedemark, Germany, who won the award in 2017. And rounding out the group is Evan Creek of Hagerstown, Maryland, last year's winner who is carrying the Duncan Matenzi Trophy. And now for this year's winner. This year's Duncan McKenzie winner was raised on a beef cattle and hog operation. Everything changed when he began helping his aunt and uncle on their Guernsey dairy farm. That's when he fell in love with the dairy cow. At age 21, without any work lined up, this Missouri farm boy headed to Madison, Wisconsin. He walked through the barns and eventually found work that year and more importantly, found a lifelong vocation. For the past 27 years, this man who took a leap of faith has not missed a World Dairy Expo. A fitting tribute to every Klusendorf McKenzie winner, this man is always willing to help others, no matter what the breed, where they might stand in their class. He was always sporting a smile with a helping hand because he is appreciates and humbled by the confidence others have placed in him. Over the years, this winner has been fortunate to work with breeders and cows from 35 states. He serves on the World Dairy Expo Exhibitors Committee, and he still gets excited 
just like a little kid on Christmas morning as he waits to come to the next World Dairy Expo. As others quickly came to appreciate his talents, he began to work with some of the greatest cows there are. They were the Brown Swiss cow, Timberline Jetway Tony, excellent 95. The Holstein cow, Woodfield Inspiration Lou, excellent 96. The Jersey, Responsive Cheryl, excellent 95. The Brown Swiss, SCF James Vicks, excellent 94. And his own very, his own, very own World Dairy Expo champion, the Milky Shorthorn, Oak Grove, Nicolia. With a keen eye for great dairy cattle, this year's winner also has judged shows in 28 states and Mexico. He has twice served as associate judge for the International Brown Swiss Show at World Dairy Expo. And he has judged six breeds at the North American International Livestock Show. With this clue, many in the audience may know that Dean Doley of Starstruck Cattle is the 29th winner of the Duncan McKenzie Award. As Dean makes his way to the colored shavings, we'd also like to recognize that it takes a team to run a dairy. Dean would be quick to thank his wife Stacy, his son Grant, who are helping run the 50 cow dairy. While Dean has an impressive dairy resume, it is most important to note that he exemplifies the standards that made the Duncan McKenzie Award what it is today. Again, let's give Dean Doley of Halfway, Missouri, a huge round of applause. Since the association was formed in 1937, 16 men have received special recognition by their membership for their involvement with the purebred dairy cattle industry, and they are known as honorary members. Today, we have several of those, of those honorary members with us. In 2012, Corey Geiger of McGuanago, Wisconsin, was chosen as the 14th honorary member. He serves as the organization's secretary treasurer for the past 18 years and was recently elected as the 65th president of the Holstein Association. In 2014, the group was honored with Tim Abbott of Innisburg, Vermont. And now, for the first time in its 82-year history, the group will name a woman to the honorary Klusendorf winners. From the moment she interviewed for the then soon-to-be-open University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine, this veterinarian embraced her new community and its great kettle show at World Dairy Expo. Throughout the process, she helped transform dairy cattle health care. After being recruited to the veterinary school by the likes of the late Lee Allenstein, Jim Crowley, Dave Dixon, and Terry Howard, all World Dairy Expo legends, this compassionate veterinarian volunteered for the first time in 1983. And she's been volunteering and leading change ever since, all the while keeping in mind the heart of the farmer and the needs of the consumer. She played a, a pivotal role in developing many of the health standards and techniques at World Dairy Expo, testing milk for possible adulteration, partnering with others on ultrasound techniques. She modernized the cattle check-in process and most recently led efforts to research over bagging. This year's 17th honorary Klusendorf winner calls the 1982 interview to join the University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine, a heaven sent interview. Most in the community believe that heaven sent her to World Dairy Expo as she is the mother Teresa of cow care. That's because Dr. Sheila McGurk deeply understands dairy farm men and women and their love of cows. It's this deep appreciation for both bovines and their caretakers that brings Dr. Sheila McGurk to the colored shavings as the 17th honorary Klusendorf winner. Again, please thank Dr. Sheila McGurk.
And now for the Klusendorf Trophy winners themselves. We have quite a few of them here today with us. As they come to the ring, please recognize them. First in line is George Barless from Janesville, Wisconsin, who won the award in 1972. Next in line is Terry Lee, Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin, who was the 1981 winner. Then we have Wayne Slyker, St. Paris, Ohio, the 1986 winner. He's followed by Ken Empey of Dorchester, Ontario, Canada, the 1988 winner. Stuart Rao, perhaps the greatest milking shorthorn breeder in the world, hailing from Davis, California, the 1997 winner. Followed by Clark Vilter of Heartland, Wisconsin, who received the trophy in 1998. Next is Ultima Cor from Salvasa, Kentucky, the first woman to win the honor in 1999. She was just recently elected the vice president of the Klusenorf Association. Then we have Bill Taylor of Oldwick, New Jersey, who won in 2000, and he has just been elected as the new president of the Klusenorf Association. The 2001 winner is Steve Blessing of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And then he is followed by Steve White of Newcastle, Indiana, who won the award in 2002. Then we have Mark Reith from Oxford, Wisconsin, who won the award in 2008 and just completed a two-year term as the president of the Klusendorf Association. Charlie McAvoy of Marathon, New York, was the 2009 winner. And Joel Keatsman of Wanakee, Wisconsin, won in 2011. It's followed by Gilbert Texier of Turlock, California, who won the honor in 2014. In 2015, Lauren Ella of Milton, Ontario, Canada. Next was Roger Eby of Cumberland, Wisconsin, who won in 2016. And finally, last year's winner, carrying the Clues and North Trophy, Adam Little of Argyle, New York. And now to this year's winner. Their show ring experience started like many others with a 4-H project and progressed from there. During college, he worked with the Piney Hill West show herd, traveling up and down the California circuit. The string would show all summer and end up at the Cow Palace and then on to Waterloo at the National Dairy Cattle Congress. It was during this time that the 78th Klusendorf winner rubbed elbows with the likes of Henry LaFranchi, Stuart Rao, Harlan Asklin, Al Hay, and many more. As these relationships grew, he would work with such herds as Willamante in California, Champ Goodwin in Missouri, Dream Street in New York, and Bottom of Farms in Indiana. This man also worked with some of the best herds throughout California and assisted or managed hundreds of sales in all dairy breeds throughout the U.S. If success is measured in miles travel, you could match this man's odometer from boxcar to airplane. Also, in terms of ribbons won, banners, and trophies, his trophy case would certainly be overflowing. Most importantly, if success was measured by friendships gained and grown throughout the years, few in dairy circles could match this man's success. Simply stated, he is one of the most popular people in our business. It's time to welcome Ken Melvold of Fresno, Fresno California to the Colored Shavings. As uh, Ken is going to be coming forward, it's important that we recognize that Ken is humble, friendly, and an extremely kind human being. And these attributes may mask the fact that he is a tremendous cowman, but also a great competitor. Today, Ken's name will be added to the silver trophy originally made by Tiffany Jewelers of New York, New York, in 1937. In addition, this year's winner will be receiving a gold watch from the Chris Kampf Fund, uh, given by Chris Kampf to the winner of the award each year.
Our uh, closing our winner this year is pretty humble. He's afraid afraid to come out here right now. We'll get him out here. But again, let's give Ken Melville of Fresno, California, a warm round of applause. Congratulations to our Klusendorf Award winner, Ken Melvold of Fresno, California. The Duncan McKenzie Award to Dean Dooley, Starstruck Cattle Company, and the honorary Klusendorf Award winner to Dr. Sheila McGurk. Congratulations. this time, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take a minute to introduce you to our officials for today. Our lead judge is Chad Ryan of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Chad resides in Fond du Lac with his wife, Amy, and sons, Dylan and Cameron. There, he assists his parents in the day-to-day -day operations of Ryan View Holsteins, a 100-cow registered Holstein herd with a BAA of 111.8%. Ryan and his family have bred or developed over 30 All-American, Junior All-American, and All-Canadian nominees, three of which went on to be named All-American. They were also awarded the Premier Breeder Banner twice at the Wisconsin Championship Show. Along with being active on the farm, Ryan is a former director of the Wisconsin Holstein Association Board, currently serves on the World Dairy Expo Dairy Cattle Exhibitor Committee, and recently joined the World Dairy Expo Board of Directors. He also travels the country working with elite show cattle and genetic offerings at sales and shows. Ryan's judging resume is also quite impressive, including the International Red and White and Junior Holstein Shows, the Northeast Spring National Holstein Show, various Midwest National Shows, and the All-American Jersey and Junior Red and White Shows. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our official judge, Chad Ryan.
Our associate judge today is Lynn Harbaugh of Marion, Wisconsin. Lynn is no stranger to the colored shavings. This area sales representative for Central Star Select Sires has placed cattle at World Dairy Expo six times, including the Ayrshire's, Guernsey's, Junior Holstein's, Milking Shorthorns, and Red and Whites. Harbaugh has also judged cattle at the Royal Winter Fair in Canada and the National Holstein Show in Mexico, in addition to state and national shows across the country. As an exhibitor and breeder, he has shown Expo champions and class winners and worked with nearly 30 All-American or Junior All-American nominees. In 2018, Harbaugh, along with his wife Sarah and children Jacob, Logan, and Madison, exhibited three All-American and eight Junior All-American nominees across six breeds. The Harbaugh family's winning show cattle are part of a small elite herd of registered Holsteins that are bred under the Bellevue prefix. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Lynn a warm welcome to the colored shavings this year.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to formally recognize Ken Melvold, the winner of the Klusendorf Award at ringside with Dr. Selner. Congratulations, Ken. Please welcome Ken Melville of Fresno, California to the Colored Shavings. As Ken comes forward, it's important that we recognize that Ken is humble, friendly, and a kind human being. And those attributes may mask the fact he's a tremendous cowman and a great competitor. After today, his name will be engraved to the great trophy held here by Adam Little. Again, let's give Ken Melville of Fresno, California a huge round of applause.
Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have completed their placings in our first class of the day, the Spring Heifer Calf class. First, our Bread Known Award winner is entry 2710, Ms. McWilliams' Demp Lady Luck, exhibited by Triple T Holsteins, Michael Heath, and Sam McWilliams of North Lewisburg, Ohio. And third in the class is entry 2706, Windy Knoll View Cat, exhibited by Brian Joseph Enright and Jack Mayer Holsteins of Winchester, Ontario. Second in the class, 2720, Duckett Dorman Sierra, exhibited by Glamour View Jaeger and Walton, Walkersville, Maryland. And the winning entry is entry 2736, Ms. Roland View Solo Daydream, exhibited by Hayden Ayers of Portageville, New York. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Holstein enthusiasts, exhibitors, spectators. Uh, welcome to the International Holstein Show here at World Dairy Expo. Uh, Lynn and I are certainly awfully excited to be here. We anticipate a wonderful show, and certainly our first class did not disappoint. What a beautiful, beautiful group of calves all the way down. And with that being said, a calf that leads out this parade, just a beautiful, angular, clean rib calf all the way through. She's got what, exactly what we're looking for. She's big enough. She moves on an exceptional set of feet and legs, and that's what gives the advantage over the calf here following second. She tracks just a little bit nicer. There's a little more width between her hocks today, but this second calf, she's all quality. She's got breed character about that head and neck. She's clean cut. She's angular. She's just a little bit more rear flank today, a little wider through the hooks, pins, and the thurls than the black calf that follows in third. Our third calf, so similar to the second calf, just has the advantage once again, just being a little longer and leaner through the head and neck. She's a little flatter down through the hock today. But this fourth calf, certainly a calf that's got tremendous ring presence. You love the hardness the top that she has. She's got so much width from the hooks to the pins. And she has the advantage once again over the calf that follows here in fifth. Just tracks a little bit nicer today. But this calf here in fifth, she's all quality once again. A tremendous rum heifer, just a little more cleaner, a little more angular today, showing a little bit more cleanliness over hips, pins, and thurls than the big frame calf that follows along in six. Tremendous group of calves here in your spring heifer calf class. Congratulations. At ST Genetics, we believe genetics is an investment to build a successful future. That's why we bring the most innovative products to your farm. 
to provide solutions for your dairy. Work with our team today and establish the right strategy to achieve your goals. ST Genetics, the best way to predict the future is to create it. If you would like to mark your catalogs, there were 30 spring heifer calves shown. 2701 was 19. 2702 was a scratch. 03 was 17. 04, 24th. 05 was 5th. 2706 was third in the class. Windy Knoll View Cat, exhibited by Brian Joseph Enright and Jack Mayer Holstein's Winchester, Ontario. 2707 was 27th. 8 was 20th. 9 was 30th. Entry 2710 was 4th in the class and first bred and known, Ms. McWilliams' Demp Lady Luck, exhibited by Triple T Holstein's Mike Heath and Sam McWilliams, North Lewisburg, Ohio. 2711 did not show. 12 was 28th. 13 was 23rd. 14, 25th. 15 was 5th. 16 did not show. 17 was 9. 18 was 10th. 19 was 16. Entry 2720 was second in the class. Duckett Dorman Sierra, exhibited by Glamour View Jaeger and Walton, Walkersville, Maryland. 2721 was 13. 22 was 11. 23 was 8th. 24 was 21st. 25 was 18. 26 was 29th. 27 did not show. 28, 14. 29, 12. Entry 2730 was 26th. 31 did not show. 32 was 22nd. Entries 2733, 34, and 35 did not show. 2736 was the winning entry. Ms. Roland View Solo Day Dream, exhibited by Hayden Ayers, Portageville, New York. 2737 was 15th, and entry 2738 was 6th. Now in the ring are the winter heifer calves. First place award presented by Sonnenberg Holsteins of Belleville, Wisconsin. The bread and owned award presented by Ranrose Holsteins, Corey Geiger and Krista Kanigi, McQuanago, Wisconsin.
Attention, ladies and gentlemen, we need Dan Stetzer to please come to the admin office on the third floor. Dan Stetzer to the admin office immediately.
Ladies and gentlemen, our judges have completed their placings in this extremely large winter heifer calf class. Placing third in the class, entry 2761, Wigland Dempsey Alex Joe, exhibited by Kaylin Kennedy and Keegan Weigel of Platteville, Wisconsin. Second in the class, entry 2793, Van Dusky's Denver Cami, exhibited by Matt, Mark, and Will Yeager, and Lucas Hetz of Boonesboro, Maryland. And your winning entry, and also first bred and known, 2762, Blexi's Crush Budweiser, exhibited by Bud John, Vale, Abbott, Van Axel, and Woodmansey of Lomira, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Yeah, give them a nice round of applause. What a tremendous group of heifers all the way down the row. And with that being said, what a beautiful pair of heifers to lead out the pack. But this first heifer for us, she's got everything we're looking for once again. She's got that tremendous combination of dariness and strength. You look up front, she's got width through the floor of her chest. She's got width through that muzzle, and she carries it all the way back through her hips, pins, and thurls. But she has the advantage over the calf following here in second. She's just a bit harder across the top today. She's got a little more rear flank today than this beautiful, stylish calf coming here in second. This young lady's calf, she parades her around like a dream. She's a stylish rig. She's got a little bit more horsepower, a little more motor than the silky hided calf that follows in third. This third calf, once again, a calf with tremendous ring presence. You love the clean cutness, the angularity. I have her that's so feminine, and she's just a little bit cleaner through the head and neck today, a little more breed character all the way through than this fourth calf that follows along that has so much strength. Once again, she's got width and power all the way through, yet she's still dairy, you know, angular and open, and she just tracks a little bit nicer than the calf that follows here in fifth. The fifth calf... Didn't handle the greatest today, but when she does, she certainly can blow you away, too. You love the uphill run. She's just a little fuller in the crops today. She's a little more calf all the way through than the clean-cut dairy calf here that follows in six. Certainly not the biggest calf, but she's a quality calf in her own right. Once again, congratulations. Outstanding group of calves all the way down.
This year, the Klusendorf Association will award the 10th Annual Robert Whitey McCowan Master Breeder Award in memory of the 1997 Honorary Klusendorf winner, longtime editor of Holstein World, and past president of National Dairy Shrine. Here today to help present the McCowan Award are Klusendorf President Mark Reith and Klusendorf Secretary Treasurer Corey Geiger. The McCowan Award honors a small to mid-sized, well-managed breeder herd that is successful showing and judging and emphasizes all qualities of the Klusendorf Award, including ability, character, endeavor, and sportsmanship. The Woodmansey family and their Woodmansey Holstein herd of Preston, Connecticut, fits every criteria of the McCowan Master Breeder Award. Lead, breed, and progress. That's the attitude found at Woodmansey Holsteins and their team who breed and market elite registered Holsteins that possess remarkable type, impressive production, and superior genetics. The Woodmansey family has molded their operation into the noteworthy herd it is today. Their prefix has bred great cattle in addition to prefixes, including Hazel, Hez, Dana Ray, Cameron, Lotto, and now Black Sea. Under their own prefix, they have bred eight excellent 94-point cows, six excellent 93-point cows, 11 excellent 92-point cows, 26 excellent 91-point cows, 50 excellent 90-point cows, and 339 cows scored at very good. In addition, they have bred 15 cows that have earned Dam of Merit and eight that garnered gold medal dam status. Their current operation boasts 37 excellent cows, 30% of the herd. Woodmansey Holsteins has been a foundational name in Connecticut and in the greater New England region for three generations. They were one of the first herds in Connecticut to install a milking parlor in the late 1950s. In 1974, Clark Woodmansey III purchased the farm and began to focus on, elite, on breeding an elite herd of registered Holsteins. Today, with Clark with Clark's son, Clark IV, the farm consists of 1,250 acres with a milking herd of 125 cows. Their rolling herd average is 23,850 pounds of milk with a 4.9% butterfat and a 3.2 protein test. As no stranger to the show ring, a colored shavings favorite is none other than Hazel's Goldwyn Hattie, excellent 96-3E. In 2017, she was named Grand Champion at the Northeast Fall National Holstein Show and placed third at World Dairy Expo in the 150,000 pound production class. These accomplishments earned her honorable mention All-American honors that year. Never fearful to add world-class genetics to their herd, Woodman Z partnered on acquiring Dubo Dundee Hezbollah Excellent 92 and had considerable success developing her daughters. Clark has bred no less than 10 max score excellent 92 sex and lactation cows from Hezbollah. Additionally, he has bred multiple excellent daughters from scientific gold Dana Ray, excellent 2E95, and is part owner of one of the most sought after cows in the business, Rosier's Blexi Goldwyn, excellent 96. Other notable cows he has partnered on include Roebrook Goldwyn Cameron, excellent 95, and unique Dempsey Cheers, excellent 92. Clark has been involved in ownership of cattle that have won the New York Spring Show, Eastern States, Grand Champion at the Royal Winter Fair, and Supreme Champion at World Dairy Expo. The awards and elite cattle speak for themselves when representing Woodmansey Holsteins. The Woodmansey family integrates passion, diligence, and humility into one to maximize their potential with the Holstein breed. The service to their farm, local, and state Holstein associations and surrounding community have earned them the honor of being named the 2019 McCown Master Breeder. Let's congr congratulate Clark and Lois Woodmansey of Preston, Connecticut, as they receive the 11th McCown Master Breeder Award from Mark Reith and Corey Geiger.
If you would like to mark your catalogs from the winter heifer calf class, there were 50 animals placed, 2739, 43. 2740 was 11, 2741 was 41, 2742, 15, 43, 38, 44 was 40th, 45 was 31, 46 was 30th, 47 was 49th, entry 2748 was 42nd, 49, 26, 50, 17, 2751 was 9th. Entries 52, 53, and 54 did not show. 2756, 16. 2757, 4. 2758, 27. 59, 46. 60 was 29th. 2761 was third in the class. Wigland Dempsey, Alex Joe, exhibited by Kaylin Kennedy and Keegan Weigel of Platteville, Wisconsin. Entry 2762 was the winning entry in first bred known, Blexi's Crush Budweiser, exhibited by Bud John Vale, Abbott, Van Axel, and Woodmansey of Lomira, Wisconsin. 2763, 25th. 64 was 34th. 65, 24, 66, 19, 67, 12, 68, 5th, 69 was 8th, 70, 28, 71, 50, 72, 47, 73, 39, 74 was 44th, 75 did not show, 76 was 10th, 77 was 7th, 78, 20th, 79, 23rd, 80 was 18th, 81 was 13th, 82 was 48th, 83, 45, 84, 33rd, 85, 36, 27, 86 was 22nd, 87 was 21st, 88 was 37th, 89 was 14th, 90 was 6th, 27, 91 was 32nd, 27, 92, 35th, Entry 2793 was second in the class. Vandusky's Denver Cami, exhibited by Matt Mark and Will Yeager and Lucas Hetz of Boonesboro, Maryland. And entry 2794 did not show. Now in the ring is one of the largest classes ever at World Dairy Expo, the Fall Heifer Calf Class. First place award and bread and owned awards are presented by International Protein Sires, Rock Springs, Wisconsin. Neck Ribbons and Medallions, presented by Jetstream Genetics of Watertown, Wisconsin. And once again, Bread and Own Class Winner Recognition Awards, presented by Holstein USA.
Ladies and gentlemen, placings are complete in this extremely large Holstein Fall Heifer Calf class. Placing third in the class, entry 2810, Bud John Vale Ava Elusive, exhibited by Chandler and Calvin Benning of Lomira, Wisconsin. Second in the class, entry 2832, Crystal Star Avalanche Cali, exhibited by Matt Habacher, MB Lucky Lady, and Almeida Clear Spring, Maryland. And your winning entry in first bread and owned, entry 2843, Ryan Crest Dorham Love Bug, exhibited by Ryan Crest Farm, Corfu, New York. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Give them a nice round of applause. There's a lot of exhibitors out here, obviously, that have come a long way, put a lot of time and expenses in. What a tremendous group of heifers all the way down. And once again, with that being said, these first two, uh, if they don't make your hair stand up in the back, I don't know what will. They're so much quality. They're clean cut. They're dairy. They're angular all the way through. They got tremendous ring presence. But for us, this first one today, she's just a little whisker cleaner. She's a little longer through the head and neck today. She's a little flatter down through her hock today. But after that, boy, this second one, she's a tremendous calf in her own right. She's just a cleaner once again than the heifer following third. She's got a little more breed character. She's got a little more rear flank today. But this third calf, she's got style to burn once again. You love the uphill run, a heifer that's so full in the crop. She's got strength and width through the floor of her chest, and that's what gives the advantage over the heifer following here in fourth. She's a little tighter behind the point of elbow. She's a little fuller through the crops, but this fourth heifer, a tremendous rear flank heifer, a heifer that moves exceptionally well. And for me, she just flexes a little nicer on that hock today than the heifer that follows in fifth. This fifth heifer, another clean cut, dairy, angular, tremendous rumped heifer. And she has the advantage over the heifer here following six, just having a nicer slope through that rump. She's harder across the top line here, but this sixth one, another tremendous framed heifer, a heifer with so much forerib, so much cage all the way through, but just not, uh, just like to change it today a little bit in the rump to get her any higher. Once again, an outstanding group of heifers here in your fall heifer calf class. Congratulations.
you're marking your catalogs, there were 51 fall heifer calves shown. Twenty-seven ninety-five did not show. Ninety-six fifty-one. Ninety-seven was twelfth. Ninety-eight thirty-eighth. Ninety-nine was forty-one. Entry twenty-eight hundred was ninth. Twenty-eight oh one was eighteen. Two was thirteen. Three forty-eight. Four was seven. Five was seventeen. Six was thirty-fifth. Seven was thirty-second. Entry twenty-eight oh eight did not show. 9 was 8th, 28.10 was 3rd in the class, Bud John Vale, Ava Elusive, exhibited by Chandler and Calvin Benig, Lomira, Wisconsin. 11 was 36, 12, 39, 13 was 31, 14 was 14th, 28.15 was 10th, 16, 40th, 17, 42nd. Entries 28.18 and 19 did not show, 26 was 20th. 21 was 34th, 22nd was 16th, 23rd did not show, 24 was 11, 25, 45th, 26 was 46th, 27 did not show, 28 was 30th, 29 was 22nd, 2830 was 50th, 2831 was 47th, 2832 was second in the class, Crystal Star Avalanche Cali, Exhibited by Matt Haubacher, MB Lucky Lady, and Almeida of Clear Spring, Maryland. 33 was 24th. 34 and 35 did not show. 36 was 25th. 37, 5th. 38, 15. 39, 49th. 40 was 44th. 41 was 20th. 42 was 33rd. 43 was the winning entry in First Bread and Own. Ryancrest Dorman Love Bug, exhibited by Ryancrest Farm, Corfu, New York. 2844 was 6th, 45, 27th, 46, 37th. 47 did not show. 48 was 43rd, 49, 23rd. 50 was 29th, 51, 21. 52 was 19th, 53 did not show. 54 was 28th. 55 did not show, and entry 2856 was fourth. Now in the ring are the summer yearlings. First place award and bread and owned awards presented by International Protein Sires, Rock Springs, Wisconsin.
At ST Genetics, we believe genetics is an investment to build a successful future. That's why we bring the most innovative products to your farm to provide solutions for your dairy. Work with our team today and establish the right strategy to achieve your goals. ST Genetics, the best way to predict the future is to create it. At ST Genetics, we believe genetics is an investment to build a successful future. That's why we bring the most innovative products to your farm to provide solutions for your dairy. Work with our team today and establish the right strategy to achieve your goals. ST Genetics, the best way to predict the future is to create it.
Placings are complete in the Summer Yearling Heifer Calf class. Placing third in the class and first, bred and owned, 2862 Blondin King Doc Chewy, exhibited by Firm Blondin, Blondin Sires, St. Placide, Quebec. Second in the class, entry 2858, Hammer Time Dorman Nova, exhibited by Weeksdale Holsteins, Frank and Diane Borba, and Frank and Carol Borba of Pleasant Valley, Prince Edward Island. And your winning entry is entry 2873, Wincroft Dorman Irreplaceable, exhibited by Allendale, Black, Carpenter, Dixon, Gibbs, Hovden, and Mitchell of Canaan, Connecticut. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, just an outstanding class of heifers all the way down in a beautiful pair of heifers to lead out your class. Certainly, they're a little bit different, but the first heifer here, she's just a little more heifer. But what she... Uh, the second heifer, the second youngest heifer in the class, a heifer that's born in mid-August. She's a quality heifer in her own right. But for us, the first heifer is just so much more heifer today for her age. You love the frame. She's got style to burn. Another, once again, a heifer with tremendous ring presence. You love the boxcar rump that she gets. You get behind her. She's got so much width all the way through. She moves out on a tremendous set of feet and legs. But just so much more heifer today than this beautiful heifer here, the short-aged heifer here that follows in second. Certainly the second heifer, which she gives up in size and scale, she makes up in quality. If you like them clean-cut, dairy, angular, tremendous breed character all the way through, she certainly has that from nose to tail. And that's what has the advantage, gives her the advantage over the heifer here following third. She's just a whisker cleaner all the way through. A little cleaner through the head and neck today, a little cleaner down through the brisket today than the heifer here that follows in third. The third heifer, her frame overwhelms you. You love the dariness, the strength that she has. She's got so much power, yet she still moves exceptionally well. And for us, she's just got a little bit more rear flank today, a little more spring all the way through than the heifer that follows in fourth. Fourth and fifth, just the fourth effort, just a little more cleaner today, a little more modern up through the front end today. She's a little bit fuller in the crops today than this heifer here in fifth. Another tremendous rump heifer here in fifth. She's got width and power all the way through. But for me, she just has a little nicer slope from hooks to pens today. That gives the advantage over the white heifer here that follows in sixth. The sixth heifer, another clean cut dairy angular heifer in her own right. Just a tremendous group of heifers once again in your summer yearling class. Congratulations. Congratulations. If you would like to mark your catalogs, there were 37 summer yearlings. 2857 was 23rd. 2858 was second. Hammer Time Dorman Nova, exhibited by Weeksdale Holsteins, Frank and Diane Borba, and Frank and Carol Borba, Pleasant Valley, Prince Edward Island. 28.59 was 26th, 60 scratched, 61 was 37th. Entry 28.62 was third in the class and first bred and known, Blondin King Doc Chewy, exhibited by Firm Blondin and Blondin Sire, St. Placide, Quebec. 28.63, 16, 64, 11, 65, 34, 66, 25, 67, 27, 68, 32, 69, 28, 70 was 9th, 71, 14, 72 was 29th. Entry 28, 73 was the winning entry. Wincroft, Dorman, Irreplaceable, exhibited by Allendale, Black, Carpenter, Dixon, Gibbs, Hovden, and Mitchell of Canaan, Connecticut. 74 was 19, 75, 20, 76 did not show. 77, 6th, 78, 35th, 79 was 12th, 80 was 10th, 81, 15, 82 did not show, 83, 21, 84 was 5th, 85, 31, 86 did not show, 87 was 8th, 88 was 7, 89 was 13, 90 was 18, 91, 33rd, 92, 17, 93 was 30th, 94 was 4th, 95, 36. Entry 28, 96 did not show, 97 was 22nd, and 98 was 24th. Now in the ring are the spring yearlings. 
First place award and bread and owned award presented by International Protein Sires, Rock Springs, Wisconsin. Neck ribbons and medallions presented by Jetstream Genetics, Watertown, Wisconsin. And bread and owned class winners awarded by Holstein USA. At ST Genetics, we believe genetics is an investment to build a successful future. That's why we bring the most innovative products to your farm to provide solutions for your dairy. Work with our team today and establish the right strategy to achieve your goals. ST Genetics, the best way to predict the future is to create it.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Katie Coyne, and I'm the superintendent of two fantastic youth programs here at the World Dairy Expo. Last night, we had showmanship, our showmanship contest with over 350 contestants from the US, Canada, and several from Germany as well. Winning those contests in the senior division was Joey Opsel from Wisconsin. In the intermediate division was Olivia Finke from Ohio. And in the junior division was Morgan Howard from Ontario, Canada. Congratulations to those youth. Earlier in the week, we had our fitting contest with 32 contestants and winning the uh, female division in the senior group was Hannah Nelson from Wisconsin. And Hannah will be receiving a pair of Oscalop clippers from Tim Solomon of Clipper Parts and Repair. So congratulations, Hannah. In the male division for the seniors was won by Ryan Lawton. Ryan is from New York. And Ryan also uh, bested the other 32 contestants as the overall champion fitter of our contest. So congratulations to him.
Our judges have completed their placings in the spring yearling class. Placing third in the class, entry 2905, Harview Dorman Fiji, exhibited by Jacob Bingham of Clear Spring, Maryland. Second in the class, and the Bread Known Award winner, 2906, Ryan Crest Solomon Lucille, exhibited by Ryan Crest Farm, Corfu, New York. And your winning entry is entry 2931, Maplewood Dorman Dancer, exhibited by Howard View Holsteins and Howard Haven Holsteins, Burgessville, Ontario. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Well, first, I'd like to uh, certainly apologize. This class uh, was a little more challenging to get in place where we wanted to at the end, and we had to do a fair amount of shuffling, and I'm sorry to the exhibitors, but when they all come back uh, this final round, we're very, very happy with how they lined up. This first heifer, when she's handling, she wins pretty easy. At times she uh, gets a little awkward. Her attitude kicks in a little bit, but she's an awfully striking heifer. You love the width and power that she has. A heifer that's got so much breed character about that head and neck, and she moves exceptionally well. And for us, she's just a cleaner all the way through today. She's leveler from hooks to pins and a little flatter down through the hock than this big framed heifer that follows in second. The second heifer, certainly her frame overwhelms the class. You love the uphill run. A heifer that's got so much rear flank all the way through, so much spring and openness. And that's what gives the advantage over the stylish heifer here that follows in third. You get in front of her, she's a wider chested heifer. Just so much more midsection today. But this third heifer, another striking heifer, as she's coming around the ring. She's a hard-topped heifer. She's a clean-cut, dairy angular heifer. And for us today, she just tracks a little nicer than this heifer here that follows in fourth. This fourth heifer, another heifer. You love the uphill run. A heifer that's got dairiness and strength all the way through, but just want to change her today when you get behind her and give it a little bit more width through those hocks today, between the hocks today, to get her any higher. The fourth place heifer goes over the fifth place heifer today. She's just so much more heifer. When she's coming at you, she's got so much more width and power and strength all the way through. And she's leveler from hooks to pins that takes her over this heifer here in fifth. A heifer that's got so much quality, but just not enough heifer when we got her in line. And just like to change her rump today and raise them pins a little bit. But certainly a clean cut dairy angular heifer in her own right. And she's got so much more rear flank today than the stylish black heifer that follows in sixth. The six heifer, you love the square rump on this heifer, a heifer, another tremendous legged heifer as she comes around the ring. Once again, congratulations, a beautiful group of heifers here in your junior yearling class. At ST Genetics, we believe genetics is an investment to build a successful future. That's why we bring the most innovative products to your farm to provide solutions for your dairy. Work with our team today and establish the right strategy to achieve your goals. ST Genetics, the best way to predict the future is to create it.
Placings are complete in the winter yearling heifer class. Placing third in first bread and known, entry 2949, Keystone Solomon Alstar, exhibited by Al Halvetti and Luke Seip Liftitz, Pennsylvania. Second, 2939, Petty Clerk Impression R. Lee, exhibited by Glamourview Jaeger, Walton, and Eaton of Marietta, New York. And your winning entry is entry 2946, Miss OCD Dorman Georgette, exhibited by Dobriner, Bowen, and Schilling, West Salem, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just an outstanding group of heifers here once again all the way down. And with that being said, what a beautiful pair of heifers to start the class. We made a late switch. We've been winning with really, really good legged heifers. This first heifer's got an outstanding foot and leg. She travels around the ring a little nicer than this sty high style heifer that follows in second. You get behind her. She just tracks a little nicer. She's a little cleaner through the hock and we prefer the set to the hock on this first heifer over the heifer that follows here in second. The first heifer's a little wider through the floor of her chest. She has a little more rear flank today. But this black heifer, once again, a high quality, high style, clean cut, dairy angular heifer, a heifer that certainly grows on you, has beautiful ring presence. And she tracks a little nicer today than the white heifer here in third. She's a little crisper all the way through. She's a little longer through the head and neck today. But this third heifer, another tremendous framed heifer, heifer we moved up. Her frame overwhelms you. She's got a tremendous uphill run. She's got dariness and strength all the way through. But she has the advantage on how she sets down on a steeper, uh, stronger pass. And she's steeper through that heel than this heifer that follows in fourth. The fourth heifer, another high quality heifer. She's clean cut. She's dairy. She's so chiseled all the way through. You love the set to the leg, just like the strength in her passer to get her higher. But she's got so much more midsection today, a little more motor up front than this beautiful silky heifer that follows in fifth. Fifth over six, she's a little fuller today in the crops, just a little more stronger today all the way through right behind the chine. But this white heifer, another fr beautiful framed heifer, a heifer that moves exceptionally well, just like to give her a little bit more oomph up front today to get her higher. Outstanding group of heifers here in your winter yearling class. Congratulations. If you would like to mark your catalogs, there were 18 winter yearlings. Entry 2935 was 14, 2936 was 6, 2937, 11, 38 was 5th, 39 was 2nd. Petty Clerk Impression R. Lee, exhibited by Glamourview, Jaeger, Walton, and Eaton of Marietta, New York. 2940 was 13, 41, 16, 42, 18. 43 was 10th, 44, 15th, 2945 did not show. 2946 was the winning entry, Miss OCD Dorman Georgette, exhibited by Dorbriner, Bowen, and Schilling, West Salem, Ohio. 2947 was 8th, 48 was 12th, 49 was 3rd and 1st bred and known, Keystone Solomon All-Star, exhibited by Ella Halvalti and Luke Seipt, Lidditz, Pennsylvania. 2950 was 7th, 51 was 9, 52 was 4th, 53 did not show, 54 was a scratch, 55, 17, and 56 did not show. Now in the ring is our final heifer, calf, heifer class, the fall yearlings, bred and owned award presented by Double S Liquid Feed Services of Danville, Illinois.
Our judges have completed their placings in the fall yearling class. Placing third, entry 2962, Blexi's Dorman Brandy, exhibited by Hill Abbott and Woodman Z of Thurmont, Maryland. Second in the class, entry 2964, All Glow O Cool Thule, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins, Chilliwack, British Columbia. And your winning entry, and also first bred and known, 2959, Mace's Manor Diamondback Luxury, exhibited by McKenna Mace of Cochranton, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Judge your comments. Not a real big class here, but certainly a high quality, another beautiful quality class all the way down. And with that being said, we're starting the class off with a very young heifer in her class, but a heifer that's big enough for her age, a heifer that moves exceptionally well. She's so clean cut, dairy, angular all the way through. But she has the advantage today on just how she's handling her rear feet and legs. You get behind her, she tracks a little bit nicer. She's stronger in that pastern, especially that left rear foot today and the way she handles it and sets it down. But the second heifer, her frame overwhelms you once again. You love the uphill run. She's so clean and dairy and angular all the way through. Got beautiful breed character once again. For us, she's just a harder topped heifer than the heifer, the big framed heifer that follows in third. She's just handling her legs a little bit nicer today too. She is a little stronger also in her passers than this big framed heifer here in third. The third heifer certainly got a tremendous, tremendous frame. You love the uphill run. She's got so much width and power all the way through today. And she's just a little cleaner through the hock today. She's just moving a little freer about her feet and legs today than the high style heifer here in fourth. The fourth heifer, another balanced heifer all the way through. She's just so much more cleaner, so much more angular than the big framed heifer here that follows in fifth. Fifth over six, once again, it's just on mobility. She's stronger through those pasterns today. Just a little bit more heifer, a little bit more motor up through the floor of her chest today, but certainly the sixth heifer, another ultra dairy, clean cut, tremendous open rib heifer that follows here in six. Congratulations. If you're marking your catalogs, there were nine fall yearlings shown. 2957 was ninth. 58 was fifth. 59 was the winning entry in first bred and known, Mazes Manor Diamondback Luxury, exhibited by McKenna Mace of Cochranton, Pennsylvania. 60 did not show. 61 was seven. 62 was third. Blexi's Dorman Brand.